Hello, I'm Dylan Grinder. I'm Summer. Summer is the disembodied voice attached to the illustration down below me. And this is me playing games, the show where we play games. Really? Um, uh, it's astute viewers who have been here before may notice that we are not where we usually are. I am not where <laughs> I usually am, and Summer is in a void. Um, yeah. A black <laughs> void. Yep. That's what it feels um, like sometimes. <laughs> Oh, I know why I'm hearing you twice. There we go. Chat was probably also hearing you twice because I had you That's all right. They're fine. speakers and my headphones. Uh, anyway, tonight's gonna be tonight's gonna be a little a little special because um, we're dealing with some new tech setups. Because uh, we're uh, both of us moved. Mm -hmm. um, we both moved, so we're in new spaces. Our computers are in various <laughs> states of disarray. We coordinated um, it perfectly. <laughs> yeah planned we're so calculated. good at things no, <laughs> it's like that plans years in the making <laughs> it's like that line uh it's calculated but boy am i bad at math yeah <laughs> <laughs> um so please bear with us as we uh encounter any problems tonight uh also thank you summer for the resub and also kiana for the resub just now um kiana is on the other side of two walls that way which is pretty cool uh summer how are you how have you been mm. the last number of weeks that it's been and i can't i i do not have the energy to check still pregnant um hey hey um swinging rapidly um back and forth between despair depression and mm -hmm, excitement mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, happiness mm -hmm. joy yep this country is so fucked up and I, the more I think about it, this more scared yeah. I am to live here. Yeah. Um, we moved to a big city, which is our first big city that I've ever lived in. Also yeah. scary. And I got lost on my first outing alone. And I'll oh, tell no. you, I'm going to explain. I'm going to share this story because it was very traumatizing for me. And the more <laughs> I talk about it, the better I feel about it. Okay. Um, good, good. I went to go get a tattoo the day after we moved. We moved July 5th and I had a tattoo scheduled for July 6th and I could have mm -hmm. canceled it, but it would have been $200 to cancel and I wasn't Oof. about to do that. Yeah. So I was like, I'm going to go and I'm going to do this for me. So I go, I drive the, you know, 40 minutes, whatever to my tattoo appointment. It goes great. Love my new tattoo. I will show it to all of you next week. It is a mm -hmm. dead bird that has been stabbed with a vintage pair of sewing scissors. And I love Amazing. it so much. Um, and so I get that, which is like how I've been feeling. So I was like, I, me and this bird are one. And <laughs> I'm on my way home. And I notice my phone is low on battery. I plug Ooh. in my phone into the car charger. I do not check to see if the phone is actually charging. So I continued mm. to listen to music like a dumb bitch. Mm. Um, as I, so I'm living in Tacoma now, which is south of Seattle. It's the hey, third largest city. What you, what? We played that game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> On the show. We, yeah. <laughs> so it's the third largest city in Washington and it is, um, you know, 40 minutes south of Seattle. And I was like, this will be great. But there's like, there's like 10 exits in Tacoma. It's big. There's a lot of <laughs> exits. And there's like five <laughs> exits that go to our house. I've lived mm -hmm. in this house for, I will remind you, a one day. day. I have been to Tacoma like maybe five times looking at houses. And I have taken it a different exit every single time. So I look at my phone she tells me, you know, we're going to get off on this exit. It's going to be fine. I get off on the exit. My phone dies. There are immediate, there's immediately a fork in the road. I just go away, which I now know is the wrong way. Every single oh, option, no. I, opportunity I had to take a wrong turn, I did. Oh, God. I get off going the wrong way because I'm, and I'm sitting here going, you've got to be fucking kidding me. No, no, no. Immediately burst into tears because I'm like, well, now I'm fucked actually because I'm getting off on an exit in a city I've been to like a couple times and I don't know my address. Like I'm like thinking in my brain, oh. like what is my, so I remembered the street that we live on. Thank fuck. And I'm sitting here telling myself, 
ma'am, don't cry because the city is gridded. It's just just bunch of squares. You're going to be okay. You're going to make it. <laughs> I'm sitting here trying to remember, well, is this part of my street? Or is like, is this number part of my street or is it part of my address? I don't know which one it is. Oh, no. And so I am lost for 40 minutes, 40 minutes before I finally find my street, my house. I did it. No phone. She never charged. She never came back. <laughs> and I did it. And I get, I pull up to the house. I'd stopped crying at that point because I was like, I had a game plan for if I was so lost that I could not find. I had driven past the Tacoma Mall. So I was like, mm. I'll stop at the mall and I'll just ask somebody which way is this fucking road if that's like what it comes down to, right? Like I had a game yeah. plan. So I was feeling okay. I find my house. I get out of the car. I go up to the door because I still don't have the key to get into the back door because there's literally eight keys to get in this house. And um, Fleet comes to the door and I immediately start sobbing hysterically because I'm like, I fucking made it. I'm sure he, I was like, I know that you thought I've been dead because I told him when I was leaving and he was like, oh, I didn't even realize that you were late yet. <laughs> He's like Seattle traffic easily could have explained away. And I was like, yeah. I've been missing for 40 minutes. <laughs> I was a missing person. I was a missing person. You didn't even care. And <laughs> so Wesley runs up because he's so excited to see me. He's never seen me cry like that before. Mm -hmm. He is He's an empath, so he's really fucking distressed. And he starts mm -hmm. screaming, crying, like oh, no. to the point where I immediately have to be like, slap myself in the face, be like, Bitch, I'm get fine. Together. <laughs> I'm fine. I was like, oh, it's okay. Mama cries sometimes too. And you know, whatever. But anyway, long story short, I made it. I was lost for 40, 40 minutes, but I found my fucking way to Hell my yeah. house. And I feel like I feel like an adult for doing that, for being lost and finding my own house in a city nice. that I'd really never been to. But we moved. It was so stressful and we're still moving. I haven't found my camera yet, obviously. In-laws helped us pack and um, at the end, we were running out of time. We only had the mm -hmm. moving truck for a period of like 12 hours. And we were like, we have to get there. We'll have two hours to unpack an entire moving truck and then we have to drive back an hour. So we have to go right now. And so they were just tossing shit in oh my God. at that point, you know? And so... I think what happened is my camera stayed connected to my monitor and that somebody just ripped it off and threw it in a bag somewhere is kind of what I'm predicting. Um, but it, it exists in this house and by next week I shall have her. Um, yeah. How are you doing? Uh, you know, I, I'm doing yeah. all right. Uh, some people, some people say if you stand in the middle of an, an empty intersection in Tacoma, you can still hear the ghost of summer's phone. Um, <laughs> I, uh, God, how am I? Um, as of very late tonight, I will have been here for a week. Uh, that entire week has been spent unpacking and building furniture and drilling holes in walls. And I'm, I'm, I want to say I'm done, except that literally we have some stuff coming in tomorrow that I'm going to have to drill some holes in some walls for, um, <laughs> I'm so I'm so tired of drilling holes. Cause these walls, so these walls are like partial. Some mm -hmm. of them are brick. <laughs> um, <laughs> and all of them are very thick. Uh so yeah. And then uh, so the the reference in the stream title. I don't know how many people know this. Um. But uh, on on Friday, Rogers, which is one of like three major internet service and mobile uh, service providers in Canada, uh, just died for the whole day for like m more than twenty four hours, basically. Um, yep, just gone. <laughs> um, which included our internet here. <laughs> And uh, also our cell service. <laughs> so just for like the whole day, there was no, basically no contact with the outside world. It was really, it was really weird. Um, but yeah, before that, I uh, went on a road trip for five days driving. I, I threw basically everything I own into a van uh, in San Francisco and then drove that van with my mother uh, through 12 different states um across the continent 
to so get crazy. into Ontario. Um, and that was a really interesting experience. Um, so it was the most of the United States that I've seen. I, I've spent pretty much, I have lived my entire life in California and have only been to a couple states outside of California. Um, prior to that trip, I'd been to Idaho, uh, cause my grandma lives there. I'd been to, uh, Pennsylvania. That's Philadelphia is in Pennsylvania, right? I'm not crazy. Um, I've been to Philadelphia. <laughs> that's it. Uh, for PAX U twice, uh, in pre COVID times. Uh, I'd been to Washington and Oregon and I'd been to Hawaii. Uh, and those were the states that I had. Oh, and Nevada, because my parents used to go to Burning Man and they took me a couple times. Um, but like not a lot of the country, pretty much just the West Coast, essentially. Um, and so we got to go to some cool places. Um, uh, a big highlight for me was going to Yellowstone National Park, which I hadn't been to before. That place is fucking massive. It's huge. I've never it been is there. It's so big. It's so big. Have you, I'm going to assume the answer is no, but have you been to Yosemite? No, I haven't. Oh, Yosemite is like, it's pretty fucking big. Yeah. Um, and it's like, it's California's big national park, I think. Um, we have a lot of them, but I think Yosemite is the big one. It's got half dome and yada yada a bunch of cool glacier carved geology and um and i love yosemite and i i as a kid i used to camp there a lot with my family mm -hmm. um but then driving through yellowstone it was just like you'd go into a part of yellowstone and it would just seem endless and then you'd drive like two hours <laughs> into another part of yellowstone <laughs> And it would just be another endless expanse of park. It was so much. Um, uh, I got to see geysers. Just cool. Bunch of different like Very cool. hot spring uh, thermal thermal events, thermal features. I think is what they were called. Um, and it was just absolutely beautiful. It was it was gorgeous. Um, then came out in Wyoming. I think is the other side of Yellowstone. I was like, oh my God, this is so beautiful. These mountains. Ah, oh, imagine if I just like disappeared into a cabin basically out here. And then the first town we hit was like, there's, there was a rodeo stadium and like everyone in the county was there. No one had a mask. <laughs> um, and it was like Trump 2024. Like, I was like, oh, yeah, no, I'm never <laughs> oh, moving here. Wow. <laughs> There's a 0% <laughs> chance that I would ever live here. Look at oh. this place. <laughs> the mountains are beautiful, but the people, ooh. Um, at least for that part of Wyoming. Um, but yeah, it, a couple things happened on this trip. Um, the curse that we experienced multiple times was the GPS app we were using getting our arrival time wrong by multiple hours and just not telling us for a while. Um, so that night, actually, the night that we left Yellowstone, we were supposed to get into our motel at like 10 p.m. Mm -hmm. until it started getting dark and we were in the middle of nowhere, like Wyoming or Nebraska or something. Right. Um, uh, where is, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna look up which state this fucking town is. Uh, I think it's, yeah, it's Wyoming. So we were still in Wyoming. Um, we were supposed to get, and it was like getting dark. We were in the middle of nowhere. There was no civilization anywhere. Um, and then the phone was like, hey, you'll be there at like 1.30 a.m. Uh-huh. This was oh, like thanks. already already the third day of our road trip where we're driving like 14 hours a day. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> ugh. Uh, and so we ended up driving through the empty fields of Wyoming at like, you know, 11 midnight, 1 a.m. And it was so they don't believe in road lights there. Like those aren't a thing. Um, but not only are there no like road lights 
over the highways, there aren't any reflectors on the road? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> yeah. Are you and guys so okay? We, we were just in a void. Like literally oh there God. was nothing. Like we it was so dark. It was it was pitch black. It was so dark. We couldn't see the features of of like the hills around us. Like very rarely I'd be like against the faint silhouette of the Milky Way, I see the curve of a hill. Like <laughs> that's it. That was I it. think I see it. <laughs> yeah. And then at one point there was just like this and, and everything's flat. In Wyoming, like the whole fucking state was just dead flat. And so at some it, with like no tall buildings, at some point we just see this light in the distance. It's like piercing light, like a fucking eldritch eyeball staring at us in the distance from like way up high. And it just watched us for the rest of our drive to Lusk, Wyoming, where our motel was. What the fuck? It was fucking cursed. Um, and then it happened to us again in, what was it, South Dakota, I think? Um, ugh, yeah, it was, it was a bit of a mess. Uh, and then I got to Canada and, uh, CBSA, how do I, I need to say this politely, um, were not friendly. They were not, they were not friendly to me. And that process took about three hours two and a half of which was spent sitting in a chair with no update as to what was happening with me we uh, hate it yeah so that sucked so thanks. thanks guys <laughs> yeah, so fun for that 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 experience is gonna be one that i get to unpack for a while <laughs> i'm gonna be mm -hmm. unpacking that longer than my boxes we'll put it that way <laughs> um so yeah, that kind of sucked, but I'm here now, and being here has been pretty great. Um, I don't want to like dox myself, so I'm not going to talk too much about where I am. But it's yeah. it's a lovely neighborhood. Um, it's it's walkable, which is great. Um, I've so where I lived before in the Presidio in San Francisco, which I can finally kind of talk about more. Um, I, there was literally nothing within like most people's what most people consider walking distance like the mm -hmm. nearest grocery store was two like over two miles away right um and so you know if i wanted to walk to the store it was going to take me like 45 minutes um if i wanted to take the bus it would take like 20 minutes including the time that i would have to wait for the bus but also like once the pandemic hit i didn't want to sit on a bus going yeah. from the golden gate bridge so like the biggest tourist center of the city yeah and, like sit on a bus with a bunch of people um so basically once the pandemic hit i stopped being able to go to the grocery store um so it's nice being able to like being in a place where i can walk to go get groceries and then just walk home. Like I don't have to stock up for two weeks. I can just be like, yeah. okay, I'm going to figure out what I, what you know, we're going to talk about what we want to do for dinner for the next three days. And then we're going to go get those things and then come back. Yeah. Um, it's, it's so nice. Um, and there are like cute, small businesses nearby. And um, like a lot of Toronto is very, I say as a non Torontonian, uh, Kina has told me, Kina has told me that if you pronounce the second T in Toronto, then it marks you as not being from here. So I've been trying to train myself into saying Toronto, but I, I still like my struggle is that I over enunciate for emphasis <laughs> sometimes. So I'll be like, like if in that case I, I was being very precise. So it's like, there are many par there are many parks in Toronto as I enunciate every single consonant in that sentence. <laughs> um, but then I just sound like some dipshit. <laughs> so yeah, there, there are many parks in Toronto, um, Toronto with a CH at the beginning. If you're, if you're nasty, um, which is great. It's, it's very green city. Um, cause their zoning is really weird and broken. Um, as is their national politics, I've been discovering. Oh man! So the U.S. the U.S. has some problems, y'all. <laughs> has some problems going on. Uh, so fun to be, but like <laughs> alive right now. <laughs> 
but so Canada has some problems too. <laughs> uh, Canada has a lot of the same problems, not all of them. Um, obviously, the SCOTUS stuff is some bullshit. Um, that is pretty specific to the United States. Uh, but like the structure of the Canadian federal government is so clearly like a bunch of nobles made this so that the riffraff couldn't get too involved. <laughs> it's so like it's so clearly oh built. It, it's like one for one the British parliamentary system in a lot of ways. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, Ken and I just had like a hour and a half long, maybe even longer conversation at some point in the last week where I was like, wait, how does this work? Are you serious? <laughs> Explain you that to me again. Hit me with that one one more time. Vote for what? Anything? Interesting. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like where I'm from, we vote for Congress, both houses of Congress. We vote for the president. We vote for the governor, which is a state position. We vote for the state attorney general. We fill vote for the state um money person i forget the name we vote for a couple other state positions we vote for the mayor city council uh department of education uh some city judges i think the city attorney general um or the the district attorney rather uh and then we also vote for state measures um, which are laws essentially and local measure or state um, not proposals I don't know basically bills for state laws and bills for local laws and we vote on all of those here you vote for your city representative and you vote for your representative and the Canadian equivalent of the House of Representatives and that's it it's not a lot that's not a lot. That's not a lot. It's two <laughs> That's not things. A lot. Yeah, it's so weird. There might be some other things that just have not been mentioned to me, but you don't vote on propositions. They're irrelevant. You don't vote on now measures. I don't want to know about them. You don't, you don't <laughs> vote on the prime minister. None of that. It's That's wild. so... It's so weird. The world is, is so weird. Yeah, which from what I've heard is not uncommon in parliamentary systems, but I think it's like... The U.S. has a lot going wrong with it, but the fact that we get to vote on things I think is pretty cool. <laughs> oh. Anyway, so that's what's been up with me, is um, st struggling with the weirdness of the United States, uh, struggling with the divide between the United States and Canada, and struggling with the weirdness of Canada. Um, but I'm here, I have a desk and a computer, and a stream. That appears to be working for the most part, which is pretty neat. And wired internet. Yeah, wired internet. I ran. I'm on. We've swapped. I've only yeah. had wired internet, and now I have wireless Wi-Fi. I I ran a 50 foot <laughs> Cat Seven cable throughout our apartment and ended up hammering the shit out of my thumb, putting in the cable clips. <laughs> We are. We had to buy Ethernet cord extenders because to get to my office from the router, which only has mm -hmm. one possible location, which is in the kitchen, which is right yep. below me, mm -hmm. you have to go across the entire house twice. <laughs> so you have to go the all the way. That's the plan. So we're we're hopefully going to go through the wall. Because so yeah. like if you get down, our crawl space is really weird. Our house was built in 1909, which is really fun. Nice. Um, she's an oldie but goodie. She's not haunted. I can. I was. <laughs> I've been waiting for something haunted to happen. Nothing. There's no energy here. Nothing exciting has happened in this house. I've asked the neighbors. If, if you have a haunting, I'm on a plane because I really want to see a ghost and have ghosts be real because I don't believe it. But then you were really upset ab about me wanting to get a haunted doll. Well. Yeah, because I don't want. I'm not gonna then live there. Like you're gonna have well, yeah. to move <laughs> yeah. if there's a ghost in your house. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. I'll have to just have I a ghost in my house. It. But yeah, I um, yeah. So no hauntings, but we're gonna hopefully drill. We're not drill, but 
um, the walls are just like, you can just see up into the walls, which is so crazy. Like if you're in the crawl space below the house, you just see up mm. and you're like, oh, there's a wall. I can see inside the wall. That's wild. Um, so yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna come up through the wall and hopefully create a little plug for me right here. Um, hell yeah. Which we can do cause we own this house. Oh my God. It's my first you house I've ever bitch. owned. I'm so happy for you. I'm on the title to the house, but I am not on the loan. LOL. Hey. <laughs> That's the way it should be. No, I'm just, funny. <laughs> just funny that I'm not. I, I don't know why it happened that way, but it just did. Um, yeah. Anyway, you want to play a game? Yeah, let's play a game. Uh, Another so we played, lost phone. We played a normal lost phone a year ago in April 2021. Uh, and that was pretty great. Oh my God. Uh, but there is another Lost Phone. Uh, this game also, so if you have watched a normal Lost Phone, you may recall that there was some sensitive content uh, in that game. This game is no different. The developers have provided some content warnings, uh, which I collected together into a list. If you're watching this live on Twitch, the link is in chat right now. You can click that and it, gives you a list of some of the types of triggering content that is present within this game. Uh, if you are watching this on YouTube and you would like that list yourself, just scroll down to the description of the video and it's right at the very bottom of the description. Um, and it's gonna be the exact same list. Um, although I may add some specificity if there's something that comes up while we're playing uh, that I don't feel is adequately present represented in the warnings. Uh, but yeah, that resource is there for you if you want it. I think that's question. Everything. I got a question for you. Answer. Well, it's you I didn't ask me a question of the day, but also I have a question for oh, you. Shit. Laura, Laura or Laura? Laura. Okay. <laughs> Laura. Uh, and we're yeah, I agree. Question of the day next week. The question of the day this week um, for those of you watching is why haven't you left a comment yet? Um yeah. Uh, a person who previously commented, Quinn, just commented again this week, uh, and they're my favorite commenter right now because they've commented twice, and they have been incredibly friendly both times. That's so nice. Thanks, uh, Quinn. I did not fall off of the spinning blue orb. I have survived for the most part. <laughs> okay. Let's also, hop in. You are you are allowed to comment Laura or Lara, just saying. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you can comment. Laura which or Laura. You think it is. is it Laura or is it Laura? I think it's Laura because there's a U and the only Laura that I know of is Laura Croft, who does not have a U in her name. Can, I just was born in Tennessee where everybody said Laura, but um, I also think it's Laura. Um, but yeah. also, could you reshare with me, though, please, oh so I God, can see the game? Such a prima donna. I know. I'm sorry. I was so needy and demanding. Can I? It's just I a quirk I have. Can't. <laughs> You can't. Son of a bitch. Um, nope. Damn. All right. I'll, well, I'll share the screen with you, and then maybe we can do the window toggle later. Uh, the story of this phone is fictional, but the events described here are realistic and based on actual events. Searching through the content of another person's phone is a violation of the owner's privacy. You are about to enter the private life of a fictional character. But do not repeat these actions and situations outside the parameters of the game without the consent of the people involved. Don't just pick up someone's phone and go through their shit. That's not acceptable. But it's an interesting narrative lens for a game. Okay. Some textual game and the content may be disturbing, but the game contains no shocking visual elements. Nice. Okay. Press start the game to launch the game no immediately. No dick pics in this one. No dick pics. Uh, again, if you would like more details on the content warnings on YouTube, Bottom of the description on Twitch, exclamation mark CW will get you the link. 2.40 p.m. You have 12 unread messages from Ben. Okay. We have a game. We do. Do you have sound? By any I chance? don't hear a damn thing. I love that for you. I actually hate that for you. This is part of why we're doing this not with a game that we plan to play many sessions of. <laughs> um, <laughs> why won't you do the thing? Why won't you cooperate with me? Is there a settings? 
there's the can I go is there a windowed mode nope oh there it is go live I'm sharing it with you is it working Summer. yeah I hear it it's working yes hell yeah I'm gonna turn it down a little bit okay okay <gasps> okay <gasps> we've done it SMS Ben I just spent a sleepless night waiting for you, and I've tried phoning all the hospitals and clinics. I'm not going into the office today. I'll wait at home for any news. I tried to call you on your work phone, but the line's dead. I don't know what to do. Laura, where are you? Oh, no. Okay. Where are you? Wait, we had 1,200 oh. texts from him, though. Oh, we can scroll yeah. way. Oh, okay. We're going to the very top. Let's go. All right. Uh, do you want to be Laura and I can Laura. be Ben? Yeah, yeah, I'm into it. Let's go. Okay. Thank you for the wonderful night. Thank you. It was really incredible. You can't imagine how happy I am to have met you. Our time in bed was really fantastic, but it's not just that. The conversations we had, they did me so much good. You always found the right words to say. I feel like another man this morning, thanks to you. I'm so happy to have helped you. I already get weird vibes. Yeah, this is too much. <laughs> For a one night thing, it seems like. Turns also, this is November, out. just worth noting, and November 1st, and we went missing in June. Or, yeah, June 6th. Okay. And this is November 1st of the year before. Okay. Helped me? It's so much more than that. I feel like I've come alive again. It's as if my heart has been locked up in a box for years, and you were the key I needed to set it free. I can feel emotions again. Huh. I don't. Negative vibes. You're making me blush. Blush, my sweet key. You're so cute when you blush. I'm out shopping. Do you want me to buy the ingredients for that great stuffed zucchini recipe I was telling you about? Excellent idea. You really sold it to me, so I want to learn how to make it with you tonight at 7 at my place. Okay. What's the door code? 4004. The meal yesterday was delicious. Thanks. I was so glad to see you liked it. I love cooking. I can come and cook something else for you tonight if you like. No way. It's my turn to cook tonight. Okay, cool. I hate bell peppers, by the way. Oh, no. I adore bell peppers. Damn. Well, I guess it's all over between us. <sighs> That's sad. How will we tell the kids? <laughs> Poor Albert and Henry. <laughs> hey, <laughs> stop right there. There's no way we're calling our kids Albert and Henry. I object. Okay, objection upheld. See you tonight. See you tonight, my little key. Blech, blech. Blech. I don't like that. Uh, I don't like... So what I don't like about it is how centered it is on how she has, like... Like, it's centering... It's making her existence be centered on him. Mm -hmm. Right? Like... Yeah. Her existing as a person is about how she's she unlocked useful something to him. in him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, it's not anything about her for her sake, and that's just a weird vibe. Uh, not an unheard of vibe, but it's not a good one. Okay. Hi, a red light has appeared on your coffee machine, and I can't get any coffee out of it. What should I do? Wow, did you just wake up? Did you check there was water in it? Yeah, I slept in. And yeah, there's no water in it. Thanks. 142. Mood. <laughs> you really needed some rest, so I'm glad you slept late. Yeah, I guess. But are you okay? Not too tired? Exhausted. I've been trying to work since this morning, but still haven't done anything productive. You're very exhausting, Missy. Of course, kind sir, but you're to blame, too. And then a little bit later, Ben, are you mad at me? Sorry. Sorry, next time you'll... Uh, sorry, next time you tell me you're tired, I won't tease you. Ben? Oh, dear. I was in a meeting. Are you still at my place? Uh, yeah, you didn't tell me what to do with your keys. You can leave if you like, but I don't have another key, so you'll have to be there tonight to open the door for me. Okay, I'll cook something nice for tonight while I wait, unless you'd prefer an evening alone to catch up on some sleep. 
This is their third day? This is two days. This is three days in a row. That's... Uh, uh, two, this, I, look, I'm very much U-Haul lesbian vibes, but this is too fast for me. Uh, you can... Da, 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 da. Don't worry about my sleep, sweet little key. I'd rather have a delicious meal. Okay, I'll go shopping. Laura, where are you? I'm locked out. Help! Literally a minute, a minute, a minute. It's so interesting looking at how they double text differently. So yeah. they both clearly are not, like neither of them have the emotional maturity to be like, okay, I'm gonna wait for a response. Um, but like hers, we've got uh, like 12 minutes here and then another 12 minutes and then 21 minutes and then like another roughly 20 minutes and then another th half hour, right? Like she spaces her texts out more, but he's like, ah, panic right now. <laughs> right now, right now, right now. Damn, sorry. I went for a run and didn't notice the time. I'm not far, so I'll hurry back. Hey, will you be home soon? I wanted to go for a run. I'll wait until you're back. Ben, shall I eat now or wait for you? Sorry, I was in a meeting that went on for ages. We ordered pizza. I'll be home soon. Uh, uh. I totally forgot that some friends asked me around tonight. Do you want to come? I'd love for you to meet them. Okay. Great. They'll adore you. At the party last Friday, your friend Amir mentioned going bowling. Do you want us to go? I see. Four day job. Okay. Hmm. I'm not keen. I think Claire will be there and I don't really want to see her again. Who's Claire? An ex? No, no, but she wishes. She's a friend of Amir's and totally nuts. God, fuck this guy. She was desperate to go out with me and was convinced I was crazy about her too. Even on seeing one of her friends. She tried to break up the relationship and even started harassing my ex. So basically, she's not someone I want to see again and I really wouldn't want her to meet you. Wow, okay, we'll forget bowling night. Why don't we have a romantic evening together this weekend instead? Restaurant, then theater. That would be nicer than bowling, don't you think? Yes. Many exclamations. Okay, I've returned the keys. Great. I feel strange. Why? I lived in that apartment for five years. Sure, but now you're free from yelling neighbors, leaky pipes, pipes and heating problems. It's been one month, my guys. Like, yeah. it's been one month. This is really fast. Okay. Okay. True. You know what I won't mess either? The horrible kitchenette. Wink. Do you have the keys? I can't find them. Ah, uh, yeah. Damn. Have I locked you in? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. I can't even come and rescue you. I have a really important meeting in five minutes. No, it's okay. I was supposed to meet Carmen at three this afternoon, but never mind. Get a second set of keys. It's ironic though. I'm your little magic key that can unlock your heart, but can't open a door. Get a second set of keys. I'll get the key copied today so we won't have this problem again. Uh, you can't because it's a security key, so you need documents, special authorization, and things like that. I'll take care of it. Oh, okay. Oh. You will remember to get the key copied today? I promise I won't forget this time. Oh, no, they closed for lunk act lunk? lunch, actually. <laughs> I love lunk. <laughs> no. I'll go tomorrow during my break. I have a new colleague called Laura, a uh ho. -huh. So this phone doesn't belong to Laura. I think of you when I hear her name in the office, but you're much prettier. Heart. You won't believe this. What's that? I didn't have the right documents to copy the key so they wouldn't do it for me. No, I can't stand it. Ah, I've been locked in for three days. I know, it's really annoying, but let's try to stay positive. At least the apartment is clean. Sorry, that wasn't very good. Sure, it's really clean, but the refrigerator is empty because I couldn't go shopping. 
So what shall I cook tonight? Rice with ketchup. We'll go shopping together tomorrow and I'll take you to a restaurant this evening. Really? So cool. I've never been to a restaurant before. <laughs> a restaurant? <laughs> What's that? A restaurant? So retro. Oh my okay. god. So, wow. Shall we meet at Tamyuki at 7.30? You're taking me to, to Tamyuki? Don't you like it there? I don't know. I've never been. It's really posh, isn't it? Yeah, just a little. Okay, I'll have to doll myself up. But there's a problem. We can't meet there. You'll have to come and get me. I'm locked in, remember? Oh, yeah, true. I'll come and get you after work. Just leave the door unlocked, my guy. Like, I'm so confused. So, like, I just... Why can't she just leave the door unlocked? I just... <sighs> yeah, I guess that's that's true. She could unlock the door, go outside, do her stuff, come back, lock the door. Yeah. Maybe he was like, no, you can't leave the door unlocked because that wouldn't be safe. Carmen has invited us to her house tomorrow to celebrate my new job. She's inviting both of us? Uh, yeah, I think so. Did she actually say she wanted me to come? No, not really, but it's obvious she wanted you to come too. Well, I'm not sure. Last time I got the impression she wasn't too happy that I was around. Why don't I ask her? That will be easier. No, don't worry. I have a lot of work to do, so I'll get started this evening while you're out. Okay. But I'm thinking it would be nice to celebrate your success together. How about a romantic escape? I have some time off in two weeks. Cool, and that'll be my last chance to go on vacation before I start my new job. Where do you want to go? Wherever you want to go. I'm just happy to be with you. You think of somewhere, and we'll talk about it tonight or tomorrow. Okay. I'll be home late tonight. I'm having a drink with some colleagues. Big text gaps. Yeah. Charlotte wanted us to go for a drink with her tonight. You want to come? Uh, I'm not feeling well. Really? What's the matter? I mean, we can assume they're calling and stuff, you know. Yeah. I've got this terrible headache. Oh no. Shall I stay home tonight? I can make you a lovely broth. This is not where I would put the extra letters in headache if I wanted to say that word longer. Yeah. Probably be in the head part. Headache. Yeah. Headache feels weird. Anyway, thanks. You're the best. Ark, why did you let me oversleep this morning? I tried to wake you, but couldn't. You kept pushing me away and grumbled that you were ill. Did I? I don't remember that. Anyway, you look like you needed some sleep. Sure, but I missed a really important meeting. Ouch. Are you feeling better, though? I feel great, but I have to rush to get to work now. I'm going back to the apartment. I'll be working from home from now on. I can't stand the comments my colleagues make anymore. Okay. Remember to call oh. me if you need to. I'm here for you. Did you sleep well? I didn't dare wake you this morning. I heard you get up several times during the night. You did the right thing. I had a sleepless night. Oh, sad face. Are you worried about what happened at work? Yeah. Wishing you all the best for today. I'll give you a nice massage tonight to help you relax. Thanks. I've made some cookies. Mmm, but shouldn't you be working? Yeah, but I can't concentrate. Hang in there, little key. That concert won't organize itself. I'll have a cookie to keep me going. Hell yeah. Dress up nicely this evening. I have a birthday sur surprise for you. Smiley. I have a meeting that'll finish late this evening. Go ahead and eat. Don't wait for me. Whew. Really tiring day at work. I'm exhausted. I can't wait to come home. I want to hold you in my arms. Again with the minute after minute texts. You'll be finished soon. Keep going. Or will you be home late? Uh, I want to be clear to the viewers. This is not me like shitting on texts that are separated by a minute. I just think it's an interesting pattern so my that's mom coming texts. up. <laughs> no, no, it's okay. I'll be home at the usual time. Ah. And this is where, oh. Okay, so when was the last time we texted? That we texted? May, May 29th, 2017. There we go, okay. So, June 5th, where are you? Will you be home soon? Let me know when you go out. 
You know I get so worried when I come home and you're not here. Laura? What time will you be home? I'm hungry. Should I wait for you to get back before eating or not? It's late. What's going on? Laura? I've just seen... Uh, there's been a big car crash at the station near Carmen's place. She's not answering her phone either. I'm frantic with worry. Where are you? Has anything happened to you? Train crash, by the way. Not car crash. Train crash. You were correct. Yeah. And then I just spent a sleepless night. Okay. 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 All right. Interesting. Very. Let's the see. The key thing we was got. weird at the beginning, but I guess they got it resolved. I guess, yeah. Public free Wi Fi? Oh, we need a password. Ben's Wi Fi. Space bar. SIM card missing or unreadable. But... Okay, settings. Nope. Home apps? Oh, email. Okay, so this is Laura, but there's also a Laura at yeah, Ben's at his work. work. All right. Power job. New message from Nadia A. Hi, Laura. You've received a new message from Nadia A on power job while you were disconnected. Go to the power job website for the power or the power job messenger app to view it. Power job. Your professional social network. Why is there a song with lyrics playing? This is very distracting. Make it quieter. <laughs> okay. Oh, God. Is this the back button? No. GPS? Enable GPS? Uh, I don't want to do that. Date and time. Okay. Ah, oh, it actually changes the language. That's fun. Okay. Email. More emails. My doctor in one click. You have booked an appointment with Dr. Wright on May 31st at 9 a.m. Hmm, okay. okay. So they talked on May 29th? Yeah, we talked to him on May 29th, and then he said we didn't come home on June 5th. Yeah. He booked an appointment hmm. on May 26th. Happy birthday, Laura. Laura, we're just delighted to have you as a client and want to give you a lovely gift for your birthday. We're now offering you a 15% discount on your next purchase in our store at the Edelweiss Center. Simply present your loyalty card at checkout. This offer is valid until the end of the year with no minimum purchase required. Shop now. Sport & Co. Quality on your feet. Power job. Received a new message from Claire F. on Power Job, which is LinkedIn, apparently. Um, calculator. Were there any other SMS text messages? No. SMS only pulled up. Oh! Oh, ho, ho. Carmen's our sister. Okay. Do we want to start old and go new? Um, or just go from the top and go down? Let's go from the top and go down. Okay. Carmen. It's great to have a new phone. People can actually contact me again. Cool. Okay, so we're on the train. Wow. You're early, aren't you? You normally catch the train in the nick of time. Did your friend insist you arrived earlier? Yes, but she took it a bit far. She was so stressed that we arrived 30 minutes before we were due to leave. But it was fine because we had plenty of time to store our luggage and find our seats. All right, let me know when you leave, okay? We're off, XOXO. Have a good weekend, XOXO. Hi, we're on the train back home. Was Wex Dairy fun? Yeah, I'll drop by the restaurant tomorrow and tell you all about it. What time do you start? Same time as every Monday morning, 1045. Oh, yeah. I don't know if I'll be up that early. If not, I'll come by after the lunch rush. <laughs> Laura's such a mood. <laughs> Whenever you like, I'll be there all day anyway. Little cat, happy, smiley face. Hugs and kisses. Happy birthday. Thanks. See you tonight. Laura. What, what, what? I was sorting through some boxes in my garage, and I found someone you know. Really? Don't tell me I have friends who live in your garage. Well, you do. It's Mr. Squishy. <gasps> no way. Where did he come from? 
in a box I brought back from mom's house. Most of the stuff was mine, but I rummaged around and found Mr. Squishy all squashed up in the bottom. Aw, I haven't seen him in ages. I thought he'd been left somewhere and forgotten. If you want to see him again and take him home with you, drop by any evening. I thought that was going to turn into a ransom note for a second. If you want to see him again alive. What are you getting mom for her birthday? I was thinking about a scarf. What about you? A cell phone so she can finally live in the 21st century. Uh, you do know she won't be able to use it, don't you? You think so? Even if I give her a very basic one. Yeah, for sure. I bought her a cheap phone two years ago just for calls and texting, and now it's at the back of a drawer in her living room. Damn, well, maybe it's because she doesn't know how to use it. Hmm, I don't think you can try to force someone who's not a techie. The day mom wants a phone, she knows she can always come and ask us. True, I'll get her something else. She mentioned a hat she'd seen at the mall. Okay, I'll take a look tomorrow afternoon. There are some new episodes of Stray Envoys available today. I managed to avoid spoilers online. I didn't. I read a spoiler about a new character, and I can tell you it's... <laughs> Say one more word, and you're not my sister anymore. I'm never speaking to you again. You can't say that. I'm your fave, big sis. I'm the only one, but hey. <laughs> I could just go to the big sis store and buy a new one. I don't think so. I'm pretty sure they went out of business. Oh dear. Well, I guess I'll just have to keep my old model from the 80s. Aw, shoot. <laughs> you lady, that's just rude. Can I come to yours tonight to eat, watch the new episodes? Yep. There's bound to be some leftovers from the restaurant, so we won't have to cook. Did I leave my scarf at your house? You did. I'll keep it warm for you. I'm running a bit late. Don't worry. Is your work situation better? Nope. Don't worry. Ben is here for me. If you need anything, just let me know. Call me, won't you? Promise. Happy birthday, sis. Mm. All right, Amanda. Amanda. Oh, this is everything. Yep. Hey, I'm sending this message from my own phone. My work phone's out of battery. I'm running a bit late. Sorry, but can we make it 30 minutes later? Laura. I'm here already, but take your time. I'll just order another tea, and it's so cool to have your private number. So Amanda, we texted March. Okay. Getting further back. Okay. Stop. Hey, it's been a super long time since we last saw each other. How are you? Yeah, it's been ages. I haven't been getting out much lately, I know. But it's because I've found love. No way! Tell me all. He's called Ben. Tall, good looking. He's perfect. We've been together two months. But weren't you in a long distance relationship with some other gorgeous guy? No, you're thinking about my first boyfriend. We stayed friends after we broke up, but we finished years ago. Ah, okay. I didn't know. You'll have to introduce me to Ben someday. Sure. So what's up with you? Not much, but Maya's pregnant and she'll be giving birth soon. Wow, great. Maya's given birth. You want to come see the babies? I'm sick of the kittens. We'll be giving them away soon. So come now if you want to see them. Maya's a cat. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> I also thought Maya was not a cat. Yeah, I thought Maya was a partner, but it turns out Maya's a cat. So did you find homes for them all? No, there's one left. Are you sure you don't want a super cute little furball of your own? I'd love to, but Ben's allergic. Allergic to cats, wow. Ben. Get allergy shots for fuck's yeah. sake. Yeah, yeah. Literally, the the moment that I knew things were gonna be okay with Kiana was when we were talking like years ago about the potential of getting pets someday, and Kiana was like, "I'm allergic to cats," and like my heart dropped. I was like, "Oh no!" And she was like, "But we can get one anyway." <laughs> <laughs> it's like okay, we're good. Charlotte. Charlotte, my brother in his totally classy style. Oh, I can see you're having fun. When are you back? In two weeks. Okay, I'm being serious now. I've finally seen Amelia and I showed her the photo of the guy who ran the Zero Waste Conference last month. She still thinks he looks nothing like Victor. Damn, I could have sworn he was the spitting image of him. You can see I'm no good at recognizing faces. Shame on me. 
I'm so happy that we'll be working together again. Yeah, me too. Do you want to go swimming on Saturday? Well, my period is due soon. Really? So you're not taking the pill continuously? Uh, what do you mean? Well, your packet of pills fell out of your bag the other day, and I couldn't help noticing there were 28 pills instead of 21. Wow, hold on. How could you tell in three seconds there were 28 and not 21? <laughs> do you think I'd be an accountant if I didn't have a passion for numbers? Haha, <laughs> well spotted. Yes, there were 28, but 21 normal hormone pills and seven placebos. That means I can take them every day and not forget to resume after my week off. Oh, that's handy. I have a daily reminder in my diary so I don't forget. But it's true that remembering I don't have to take them during the seven pill-free days and then remembering to take them again at the end of the week is a tad complicated. Exactly. So I get a reminder every day and never have to stop taking my pill. But what's all this about taking the pill continuously? A friend of mine d uh, does it. A pill with no placebo. You take the same pill for 28 days and never have a period. Oh, okay. I see. But I don't use them. I'm concerned about you, Laura. How are you feeling? I'm okay, so no worries. The concert is coming along slowly but surely. It's about a month of difference. Yeah, well, this is when she's leaving work and working from home now. Yeah. It's not the concert I'm worried about. It's you. Really? No, no. It's fine. Working from home is doing me so much good. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to stay focused on my tasks as much as possible and not dwell on the other stuff. Okay, but I'm here if you ever need anything. Thanks, that's nice to know. Hi, any news? How are you at the moment? It's all good. How about you? I'm fine, but I miss you. I want to see you. I don't feel well enough to go out at the moment. Okay, but let me know if you change your mind. Do you want to meet up for a drink tonight? Hey, how are you? I haven't heard from you in a long time. Laura, I'm worried about you. I'm coming to see you during my lunch break. I hope you let me in. Hmm. Charlotte. Charlotte, Charlotte, Charlotte. What were the names from the emails? Nadia and Claire. Claire. All right. Adam. Adam Woe. The Arts and Crafts Fair is on from 11th to 14th. Are you free? If so, call me. The Wedding Salon is on from the 16th to 18th. Are you free? If so, call me. The Cardiology Congress is on from 5th to 7th. Are you free? If so, call me. The Real Estate Exhibition is on from 21st to 23rd. Are you free? If so, call me. The Chocolate Fair is on from 11th to 13th. Are you free? If so, call me. The Book Fair is on from 17th to 18th. Are you free? If so, call me. The Garden Show is on from 20th to 31st. Are you free? If so, call me. The oh, fuck, my guy. Adam, Jesus. whoa, calm down. <laughs> Happy birthday. But it's not my birthday yet. It is here with the time difference. Yeah. <laughs> really sweet of you to remember. Planning a big party? Sort of. A major company has booked the entire restaurant for a huge New Year's Eve bash. Not really in my honor. I'm going to be working like crazy. Ouch. Good luck. But you gotta admit, it wasn't the best idea to be born on December 31st. I had no choice. Two crying faces. Me too. <laughs> Rip. Yeah, my sibling's birthday is the day after Christmas, so. Bad timing. Brutal. You'll never guess who I have here with me. Er, strangely enough, I have no idea. So you're not answering? I messaged you back. Strangely enough, I have no idea. Didn't you get it? Yeah, I got it, but I sent you a photo on our messenger. Did you see it? There's a lot of problems with our messenger today. Best send photo on here. Wow. Hey, is that Kitty? Yeah, we're at the space bar. Can you join us? No, I can't come right now, but say hi to Kitty for me. Will do. Okay, so we have our messenger. Mm-hmm. So, did you meet my boss? Yeah, but it didn't go that great. Also, I arrived hot and sweaty because I was running up and down all those stairs. You could have told me his office was in the middle of a massive labyrinth. Even with his office number, I really struggled. 
Oops, sorry. Well, it wasn't exactly your dream job, so I'm sure you'll find something better. Hi, Laura. Hey, I'm planning a surprise for Amelia and Victor's wedding anniversary, and I need some nice pictures of them. Have you got anything? I have the photo I took of them at Gabriel's wedding, which is fantastic. Great. Can you email it to me? Sure, I'll send it right now. Daniel. I followed your advice and bought the same phone as you. Cool. Makes a change from your crappy old one, huh? Sure does. So, have you turned into a bear yet? <laughs> Take a look at this pic of my sister. Enjoy your holidays. Are you having problems with your phone battery draining super quickly too? Yeah, totally. But I realized what the problem was and it's so much better. Please tell me what you did. It's driving me crazy. My new, my phone's new and the battery doesn't even last two hours. The problem is the GPS. When you leave it on, it uses up all the phone power. Turn it off. Or how do you cope without GPS? It's a really neat toy. You turn it back on when you need it, stupid. You're stupid. <laughs> Another tip. I noticed the GPS would sometimes just switch itself on. I found out how to lock it, so now it asks me for a password. That way I know my battery won't run down my mistake. I'll show you how to do it next time I see you. Okay, thanks. Okay, I bet if we okay. go to the phone settings. G GPS. How do I phone settings? I am here. Settings. GPS. I bet this requires a password. Yeah. 4004. Um, four. Oh God, I don't remember how to fucking do numbers. Oh, it's a, it's one of these numbers. Oh. Okay. That will probably be how we end the game, would be my guess. Well, maybe not. Okay, gallery. Got these pictures. These two are siblings. Yeah. Same so part. that was Daniel and Sarah? Elsa. No, it was Elsa. Elsa. Mm hmm No. Oh. Wait, was it Sarah? I think it was Sarah or Amanda. No. But they said, is that Kitty? Well, that's a different picture. There are two pictures with the, oh, yeah, oh, oh. it's Charlotte. This one, this one. Okay, Charlotte and who? And Daniel, our siblings. Okay, our, okay. And then our sister is Carmen. Okay. Picture of someone sleeping on a train. Picture of someone giving a speech. Picture of some food. That's when we went to dinner with Laura plus Ben, I assume. Yeah. Yeah, December 26th. Then we have an apartment, 22. Huh. Like some graffiti on an apartment in February. And then these are the ones we just downloaded. Yeah. All right, power job, messenger. App requires an internet connection. Shit. Calendar. Pill, 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 Charlotte. Charlotte's birthday would have been later Go this to month. Doctor's appointment. Doctor's appointment. Blood test. Blood test. Doctor's appointment on the fifth as well. Doctor's appointment. Birthday. Ben's birthday. Doctor's appointment. Doctor's appointment. Having a lot of doctor's appointments. Alice's birthday. birthday. Emma's birthday. Doctor's appointment. Vacation, Alex's birthday. Cardiologist. Zero waste conference. Conference. Cardiology, Cardiology congress. congress. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Trying to. You can figure out who's in that picture. Wexterry. 
Oh, that was with Emma. The, yeah, that was the trip with Emma. Picture. That's right. So Emma was the one sleeping in that picture. Notes. Okay, we've got some notes. Doctors. Okay, let's go back to the er earliest. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, groceries, September 13th, 2016. Flour. <laughs> we can check them off. Uh, flour, tomatoes, vinegar, dish soap, olive oil, light bulbs. Nice. Oh, space, space bar, bar Wi-Fi. Public free Wi-Fi. Get those uh, passwords. Do you, do you have note-taking materials? Yeah, I do. You want me to write it down? Mm-hmm. Okay, space bar is Wi-Fi space bar B A A A R and then one two three, and then public free Wi-Fi is six three eight nine eight five six, and then co-working. Edgerton. Uh, things are going well, George. Also, thank you for the six-month reset. 68TR745 1SQ56. It is a million okay. degrees in this room when I stream. <laughs> a million degrees in this room. Okay. SG93 JFIEZ0 3N190. Nice. Bottom. Steph Zucchini. This Ew. is a whole ass recipe. If you want it yourself, pause the video. Or buy the game. Symptoms. Oh, here we go. Weariness, waking up in the morning, constant fatigue, weight loss, loss of appetite, insomnia, hypersomnia, headaches, low blood pressure, constipation, loss of libido. Hmm. Doctors, Dr. Vancier, Vancier, Vancer, whatever. Honders, Etsolu, Soonhart, and Loons. None of those are, doc are the doctors we saw, though. We saw Dr. Wright. Hmm. Okay, security chest. Try 4004 for this one. Some of the following information. Birth year of my first boyfriend, plus office number of my penultimate boss, plus secret number of the place I met Amanda for the first time. Jesus Christ. Okay, so I think first boyfriend is Adam. Mm. Wait, no, not... Or who is the person who we had the picture that we got the same phone as them? Uh, I think that was Daniel. Daniel? I think Daniel's first boyfriend. I just have sneaking suspicions. Okay. Plus office number of my penultimate boss. Plus street um, number of the place I met Amanda for the first time. That would be the location where we where our friend had to run all over the place. Yeah. Who was that that we got the job for or the interview for Emma? I think so. Boss office plus. Street number of the place I met Amanda for the first time. That's probably the 2022, I would say. Mm, maybe. That we saw in the pictures. Okay. So. Um, okay. Yeah, we have this 22 here. But it also had a 20 on it above the door in that last picture. Oh, yeah. There's a 20. It's 20, 20 or 22. Uh, that was February 24th. SMS. Okay. Emma, this is October, so I'm not sure there's a but, link there. Yeah. Uh, and then who was it that was, was it Sarah that was asking about boyfriend from forever ago? Thinking about my first boyfriend, we yeah. stayed friends after we finished that years ago. That's why I was thinking it was Daniel. Maybe Daniel? Daniel, yeah. And his birthday was Maybe. December. Wait, no, whose birthday was December? Right, let's go check. December, we have it Alex's birthday, which is the 31st. How, what, when's Daniel's birthday? Daniel's birthday is... Is... What's this? Evening at Space Bar. Arts and Crafts Fair. Daniel's birthday is unknown. Hmm... 
We have a Ben's birthday. Is there a no Daniel um, birthday? A thing, is there anything for Emma? For Emma? Yeah, just like anywhere. Uh, in this. There's her birthday. Yeah, January twenty eighth. Okay. okay. Um, but we still have more to dig through. Yeah. Counter. Oh, interesting. Counter for a bunch of dates. Huh. I wonder what she was counting. I don't know. Can you click on like the actual counter itself, not the plus or the minus? No. Okay. I am here. Registered contact Ben S. Ah, share my current GPS location. An app that enables you to send geolocated notifications to a contact of your choice. Let your friends know where you are. I am here requires an internet connection and for your GPS to be activated. I don't want to tell Ben where we are. We can turn on the Wi-Fi, though. We can. We have some music playing. Fun, fun, fun. Okay, let's Wi-Fi. Let's Wi-Fi it up. All right, what's, my, what's our password? It is 6389... Uh, eight, eight, five, six. Eight, eight, five, six? No, eight, five, six. Sorry. One, eight. Eight, three, eight, nine, eight, five, six? I think so, yeah. Okay. Uh, enter. Whoa, that was so loud. Okay, right, we have Wi-Fi. Email, email. Apps. Email. Download more messages. Let's see if there's anything with Emma. Let's see. Elsa, Melanie, Daniel, Charlotte, Carmen. My old neighbor wants to find a good home for some kittens. They're too cute. Kittens. Ugh, I can't, but I'll forward this email to a friend. Gabriel doesn't want one. Sad face. Another power job email from Julian. Uh, we have a Paul Z from February 14th, 27th, so current year. Hi, gorgeous. I haven't been able to take my eyes off. Ugh. <gasps> Ugh. This is Ugh. why she stopped going to work. Yes. Uh, I haven't been able to take my eyes off your cute little ass all week. Your red dress looked even better on you than the other times. I got the message. I really want you. So, baby, I'll be waiting for you at the hotel opposite t tonight after work. Message from Ethan. Message from Adam. Super gift box delivery. Order number DSG415S has been delivered with the following message. Hi, Alex. I hope you like your present. You can see at least I'm sending it to you on your real birthday. December 31st. Michael. Melanie. You. Hey, Melanie. Uh, or hi, Melanie. Hey, it looks like Kitty's meeting Elsa for a drink. Are you okay with that? What? I don't understand. Gabriel, he is at the space bar with Elsa, his ex. Doesn't that bother you? Ah, no, of course not. He told me he was meeting her anyway. All that is ancient history. I trust him, but why do you call him Kitty? Didn't you know we called Gabriel Kitty? It was the nickname we gave him during our school days. I really want to know the story behind this nickname. <laughs> Ask him. Gotcha. Okay, so Gabriel is Kitty. Yeah, and Gabriel and Elsa were a thing, but now Gabriel and Melanie are a thing. Mm. A message from Emma on Power Job, and then Zero Waste Conference. Thank you for registering for the Zero Waste Conference with Ethan Hillman. The conference will be held October 4th. And we did get a power job message from an Ethan H. Speaking of which, power job. You are connected to a non-secure network. Please answer these questions to confirm your identity. Who is this person? Oh God. Who is this person? Who is this person? Okay, we gotta go through some more stuff. Do we have any texts? We've seen Ben's photo. 
we have, it was here. So that's Ben, which is not yeah. any of the three people shown here. We have seen this person, um, which I believe that's from here, which I believe is the Waste Free Conference. That was October 4th, 2016. So we go to calendar, go back to October 4th. Yeah, zero waste. So that'll be Ethan Hillman. This is our Ethan H. But we don't know these two people. Right. Um, no, that's Daniel. For sure. Right? Same, like, white. See if he uh, had the piercings? Beard. Piercings? Yeah, he had, he had an eyebrow piercing. Okay, eyebrow piercing here. Yes. Yep. So this is Daniel S. We don't know who this is. It's not any of the people we've met so far. Right. Okay. Um, do we have any more emails? No. Well, you're looking at the inbox. You can look at other boxes. Oh. Sent. Alex. You truly are a little shit. I don't know what made you do that, but I'll never forgive you. Seriously, what's your problem? It's because I'm finally happy with someone else and you can't get over it, right? Were you hoping I'd be miserable for the rest of my life without you? It was you who went it out and dumped me. You have no rights over my life. I can't believe this. I never even thought that you would... I never thought you would even be capable of doing such a thing. Oh, dear. February okay. 15th to Alex. Yeah, so Alex is... Alex in here? Yeah. Yeah, but it was after that. No, this was... Um, the email was 2017. This is 2016. Yeah, I know. The email was after this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, his birthday is the 31st. So Alex so that's is our... That's X. That's X, okay. So December 31st. Mm-hmm. Um, go back to email. Our emails. And go to inbox. This is Melanie. Melanie Great. is the redhead. Boom. Melanie is not in here. Are we sure that's her then? It was the picture of the 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 two for their wedding when she oh, was like. Oh right. Mm -hmm. That's the how do you feel about him? I think scene. it was a text. She said I'll email it to you right away. Right. No, we don't have a text conversation with Melanie. No, it's it's not Melanie. It was somebody asking for a picture of a couple. Well, but this oh Natalia. My bad. Yeah. Burp. Uh, uh Amelia. Amelia and Victor's wedding anniversary. Gotcha. Amelia F. Boom. We're in. Hell yeah. Okay. Oh boy. Oh my god. Can we see our profile and see if there's a list of places we've worked? Pink Sunshine Kids Association in Edgerton. Cool. That's all we got. Okay. All right, Adam H. Messages. Hi, I'm con contacting you because I manage Woe Events, and we're really interested in your profile. Woe Events is an agency that provides hospitality staff for event organizers, trade fairs, conferences, etc. Our hospitality staff assist visitors, look after VIPs, monitor the entrances and exits, manage the cloakrooms, and generally ensure that events run smoothly. Would you be interested in working with us? Hi, thank you so much for contacting me. What role did you have in mind? I noticed on your website that you're looking for a marketing manager and a digital communications assistant. I have a degree in communications from ICOM and Edgerton. Hi, sorry, but maybe my first message wasn't clear. I was contacting you to offer you a job as a member of our hospitality team. Ah, okay. I'm really looking for a job that matches my skills, but thanks for thinking of me. Good luck with your job search. Hi, I'm contacting you to see if you're still looking for hospitality staff for your, hospitality staff for your agency. 
I'm sorry you haven't found a job that matches your qualifications. Alas, you're not the only one. However, I have to say this suits my company very well, as we're always looking for new team members. Would you be available for an interview tomorrow afternoon at 3? Yes, I'll be there. Thanks. Hi, Laura. I'm calling you following our meeting, and am delighted to inform you that your profile matches our requirements perfectly. Would you be available this weekend? The event is an air show. If you are free, please call me. Hi, Laura. I noticed you haven't replied to my three contract offers, so I assume you're no... This is January. I assume you're Look no at longer the, When interested. was the one before it? Um, This was February 2016. Yeah, so old. Yeah, so she got the job and then had it for a while. Um, I noticed you haven't replied to my three contract offers, so I assume you're no longer interested in working on our hospitality team. Please let me know if you're still looking for occasional work, and I'll keep sending you job offers. Hi, Adam. Sorry, but I'm no longer available. I just found a full-time position as a communications officer, but thanks for contacting me. That's great news. Congratulations. Good luck, and please get in touch if ever you're looking for part-time employment again. I'd love to work with you. Okay, so Adam is our penultimate boss. Yeah. He's the person we were working for before. And the question was his office, right? His, it was his, um, yeah, boss office number. Uh, I don't know how we would find that out. Um, so Emma was the one who went to the event or went to meet with him and we sent the number presumably to Emma. Hmm. She said it's you could have told here. me it was in the middle of, oh, Emma was the person on the train. Oh, we knew that. Yeah. 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 yeah so we'll see that eventually. Uh, zero power messages. 16 power messages. Amanda. Oh, uh, who works in Edgerton at Endero. Uh, I think this is the person we had the meeting we were 30 minutes late for. Maybe. Hi, Laura. I'm getting in touch because I am the partnerships manager at Endero, and we would like to discuss the possibility of a collaboration with your association. The president of Endero's niece is currently hospitalized at Edgerton Hospital, and he has been able to see the beneficial effects your association can have on children for himself. He therefore asked me to contact you to discuss how we may support your endeavors. Regards. Hi, Amanda. Thank you for contacting us. We are actually in the process of organizing a concert to raise funds for the association and are looking for companies willing to sponsor the event. Your logo would appear on the posters for the event. Would you like to discuss further? Hi, Laura. We had to, I love this. Hi, Laura. Hi, Amanda. Hi, Laura. Hi, Amanda. God, business emails, am I right? I know. Uh, we had something else in mind, skills sponsorship. We would allow our staff to carry out some voluntary work for your association during their office hours. Regards. Hi, Amanda. That's an interesting proposal. What kinds of skills do your staff have to offer? Hi, Laura. <laughs> I have to say that, as you mentioned a fundraising concert, I would really like to help you organize it. Can we meet at the head office of your association so we can discuss it in person? Regards. I'm working from home at the moment. Could we maybe meet at your office? The, the point where the, the high name drops off and you yeah. have like a mild working relationship with the person. Yeah. Well, maybe we could take the opportunity to meet away from the office. I know a really nice little tea shop. I can't remember the exact address, but it's in Poplar Street on the corner of Market Way. There's a large mural in this street and it's the door beneath the octopus. Are you free tomorrow afternoon? Uh, would 3 p.m. be good for you? Meeting on February 24th at 3 p.m. with Laura. It's in my diary. It was so great to meet you. I'm thrilled at the idea that we'll be organi organizing this concert together. <laughs> cool. Who would have thought we'd have so much in common? Smiley. Well, I was thinking of going to see the exhibition I was telling you about tomorrow morning. Would you like to go with me? What a lovely idea. Can my boyfriend come too? Well, I'd rather he didn't. I really want to have a girls only outing as I may have some juicy things to tell you. Okay, I'll call you this evening to uh, to discuss the details. Um, so it's the one below the octopus, which was in the pictures. The one with the mural below the octopus. It was the place that I met Amanda was the last clue. Yes, um, beneath below the, the octopus. octopus. So that would be 24. Because we have 22, or 20, and then 22, and then the next one. On, okay. Uh, under the octopus would be 24. Great, okay. So we just need. Um, we just need uh, Adam's, Adam Adam Woes. Adam Adam Hills. Oh, wait. Fucking. It's it's Adam Hill and Woe Events is the place he works. At. Right, 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 right. So I think he's Adam Woe in the Adam 
yeah. Can they, was it emails? Oh yeah, no, there it is. Yeah, Adam I was in the text. Blow. Ah, let's try it. Cool. <laughs> the book fair is on the, oh yeah, here we go. That's what all this is. Okay. I yeah, contract. That. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So we just need his office number. Okay, so who's next? Daniel, no messages. Emma. Hi, Laura. So I saw in your profile that you're currently working for Well Events. What's it like there? I'm sick of finding nothing in communications. 107. Uh, it's pretty good. And the boss is so nice. He's always looking for more staff. Why don't you go see him personally? His office number is 107. And tell him I sent you. His name's Adam. Thanks. I'll do that tomorrow. I owe you one. So we've got December 31st, which would be 1231, I would assume. Mm -hmm. Right? Plus 107 plus 24. Yeah. Oh, this is Mr. Hill. Ethan. I don't know who Adam H is. Adam is Mr. Wellman. Uh, we have seven messages from Ethan H, who was the Zero Waste Conference guy. Yeah. Hi, Ethan. I'm contacting you again. I don't know if you remember me, but we met at your Zero Waste Conference last October. I was the girl with the dark hair you were chatting to for an hour after the conference. I now work for the Pink Sunshine Kids Association, which aims to bring fun and happiness to the lives of children who are hospitalized long term. And I'm wondering if this cause would be, uh, this is a cause that would interest uh, Zeduia? Zeduia? Zeduia. Said we uh, whatever. We'll soon be organizing a fundraising concert for the association and are looking for companies that would be interested in sponsoring the event. Your logo would appear on uh, on the concert posters. Big Bahama Mama's vibes, like early early you want no pixel. Yeah. Energy. <laughs> hey, we'd like to put your name on, on posters poster. in exchange for you giving us money for a concert. I'll name Laura. a drink after you. <laughs> of course I remember you, and we might very well be interested, but I'll have to talk to the boss because he'll want some more details. Who will be headlining the concert, and where is it? How many people are you expecting to attend? We've already booked uh, Cedric Men uh, Menendez, and we're in negotiations with Antoine Grillet to headline. The concert will be held at Municipal Auditorium in Edgerton Town Hall, which can seat up to 5,000. Sounds great. I think my boss will be really interested. Can you send the full details of the event to me on Ethan at zju.ia? Sent. Hi, as I haven't heard from you, I thought I'd just send a little reminder. What did your boss say? Hello. I must admit that we at zuia were quite surprised by the message you sent me. Unfortunately, I'm afraid we don't aspire to the same things, and I regret we can't be associated with your event. What? Let's go look at the message. Quick, quick, quick. Is this in the email somewhere? I don't see anything. I don't either. What was mm. the date that we sent it? Suspicious. February 7th. I'm trying to figure out what Alex did that was so snaky. This is the 15th, so it could be related. What was the name of the coworker that sent us that horrible text or that horrible message? Uh, I think it was an email. It was Paul Z. And Great. that was February 14th. Huh. Mm, okay. Okay. We'll just keep uh, February 7th in the back of our minds for a bit. Okay. Uh, Julian A. Oh. Hmm. Okay. So it's more office harassment. Yeah, uh, more. I'm not going to read that. What is President. your position? That was the project leader who did that. The president says, Hi, Laura. I hope all is well with you. I'm contacting you because Anastasia is going on maternity leave, and I thought you might be interested in replacing her during this period. But we really want to work with someone who knows our company structure so they can get up to speed very quickly. As you did an excellent job during your internship and things haven't changed much since 2014, I think you'd be the perfect position to replace her, or person to replace her. 
The job would mainly involve contacting former sponsors and patrons of the association to ask them to provide some funding again. What do you think? It would start in January. Hi, Michael. Thanks for the off- uh, thanks for offering me this wonderful opportunity. I'd love to work with the association again, and I'm really happy for Anastasia. Great. Why don't you drop by the office this week when you have some time and we can discuss? Okay, so that was getting the job out. Okay, Nadia? Yeah. IT manager. Hi, Nadia. Charlotte told me to be able to explain how to save the content stored on my work phone. Could you help me? Sure. What content do you want to save and for what purpose? I'd like to be able to keep content uh, like, for example, specific SMS messages, notes, etc. And then uh, access that content from elsewhere, even if it's been deleted from my work phone. Mm-hmm. Here we go. Okay, open the Cloud Save app on your work phone. If it's the first time you've used the app, choose a password that will be associated with your save. Now tick all the items you want to save. Confirm. Everything you've collect- selected will be sent to the cloud. To access your saved content from elsewhere, use another phone, install and open the Cloud Save app on the second phone, enter the email address associated with your work phone and the password you chose. Select the saved content you want to sync to your second phone. The content of your work phone will be downloaded to the second phone with a small cloud icon to indicate that it's content retrieved from the cloud. Please feel free to ask me to explain again if anything is unclear. It's all very clear. Thanks. Uh, Robin, managing director. Hello, please allow me to introduce myself. My name is Laura. I work at the Pink Sunshine Kids Association and I'm replacing Anastasia while, Anastasia while she's on maternity leave. I've been looking through Anastasia's notes and understand she approached Frintia, Frinti, <laughs> Frinti to sponsor our fund, uh, fundraising concert. I haven't been able to find uh, a record of your response or contact details, so I'm contacting you through PowerJob. I wondered if you'd have an opportunity to consider the proposal. Apologies in advance if you've already responded to Anastasia. Hi, Laura. Nice to meet you. Please contact me at Robin at Frinti so we can discuss further. Hi, I'm contacting you again regarding the fundraising concert we are organizing. I noticed you haven't responded to my email, so I'm just checking you receive them. Uh, I did receive them. Yeah, sure, I'll sponsor your concert if I can meet you backstage after the show. Winky face, winky face, winky face. I'm sorry? Don't play innocent with me. You know exactly what I mean, winky face. Fucking hell. Okay, are we missing anything here? I feel like we didn't go through all of the... I think it's security chest time. Can you just double check? I thought there were messages we didn't look at. No, there are people that we didn't look at that have zero power messages. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, <sighs> okay. Okay, so it should be, let me see. Let's try this, one, two, three, one, plus 107, plus, it should be one, three, six, two. One, three, six, two, go. Go. Oh wait, no, birth year of my first boyfriend. Oh, birth year. Yeah, which we didn't have. How old are you, Alex? Uh, happy birthday. It is here with the time difference, planning a big party. New Year's had no choice. Okay, check the email. There's something to Alex. About yeah, it was a his birthday, like his real. It was birthday. a delivered package. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Sport and co- no, uh, super gift box. Order number that. Can we see that somewhere? Like the order. Um. Maybe a calendar, it says. Oh, just Alex's birthday. D- was Alex someone with a sister? No, that's Daniel. Hmm. Does it say hmm. on his power job? Does it say his on his oh. profile? Is he on here? He's not. Oh, there he is. Alex D is 26 years old. Okay, so, so 2017. Minus 26 okay, is an is age. 
Okay, plus 107 plus 24 is 2122. He'll be turning 27 this year. He'll, he'll be turning 27 in 2017. So, 1991. Right. So, 2121. Two, okay. Two, no, it one. shouldn't matter. It doesn't matter how. Oh. There we go. Okay, okay. Stand locked for 20 one. minutes. We got our messenger. Oh. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay. Whew. We got a lot. Okay. Uh, Carmen. Carmen is the sister, I believe. Um, yes. Carmen. Oh, uh, sorry. This is you. Carmen, I can't remember. Is there an aircon? In, is there aircon in your restaurant? <laughs> sure, in the cold storage room. It's really hot in my little apartment. My brain is melting, and I can't write my cover letters. <laughs> there are fans in the restaurant, and the Wi-Fi is free. And you can have a refill of fresh juice whenever you want. <laughs> okay, I'll grab my laptop and be right there. Haha, <laughs> you'll never guess what job offer I got yesterday. A job working in the communications department at the museum? Even better, my dream job. A member of the hospitality team at a trade fair. Yay! Okay, so that's Will Events again, right? You work with them a lot, don't you? Yeah, but it's a pain in the ass. I've been working with them for over a year and have zero career prospects, even though the boss is well aware that I want a job in communications. Surely there would have been a job available somewhere during that time, right? Well, a job's a job and it's always good enough until you find something better, don't you think? Yeah, but it's a crappy job and it's useless on my CV. Pays the bills and you can't be accused of sitting around doing nothing while waiting for the next big job. Well, I have to go. It'll be rush hour at the restaurant soon. XOXO! Laura, are you coming to mom's this Saturday? Mm, I don't really feel like it. Okay, okay. Are you going? Of course. Hmm. In that case, I'll get ready. I'll bring my stuffed zucchini. Oh, yeah. That ought to motivate me. Happy birthday. I've made you a cake for tonight. I called the communications company to apply to. Or I called the communications company I applied to. And? Rejection. Oh, shit. Did you ask why? Yeah, I got the usual interesting profile, but not enough experience. <sighs> I feel really down. Come on, girl. You'll find something eventually. Have you finished that, your day at the trade fair? That's oh, wait, that's my me. line. Sorry. <gasps> <gasps> Sorry. Have you finished your day at the trade fair? Yeah, they're dismantling the stand now, so I'm going to get my stuff and leave. How was it? Last time you had some jerks coming on to you when you were working. Not this time, but hmm? there was a guy who seemed quite nice. Oh, this is late October. So it would yeah. have, this is like a week before her date with Ben. So probably Ben. Yeah. Ooh. I didn't get his last name, but I do have his first name and company name, Ben from Zenitalk Consulting. Do you like him? Yeah, I do. Well, you can find him on Power Job, can't you? That's true. Won't I look like a weirdo stalker? We didn't read his messages on Power Job. I don't think I saw them. He was there. His picture was there. Okay, right? but we checked all the accounts with messages. There were there were connections that had no power messages on them. Well, we'll have to double check just to make okay. sure. Well, won't I look like a weirdo stalker? Eh, maybe just a little. If you get the feeling he's not interested, you can always apologize. He can block you if he doesn't want to talk to you. Mm, yeah, I'll give it a try. Another job rejection. I'm so fed up. Keep going, you'll find something. Laura, did you see the trailer for Tears of the Moon? Yeah, it looks so cool. It's playing at the movie theater near me. Do you want to go? Do you want to go? <laughs> <laughs> Well, they said at the same time. Haha, <laughs> great minds think alike. You're free on the 20 uh, or on the second, right? It's my day off. Can you look up screening times? There's one at 3 p.m. on Friday. Should we meet in front of the movie theater 15 minutes beforehand? Okay, let's do that. Er, uh, Carmen? Yes. A little problem here. I can't find the keys to Ben's apartment. Where do you usually put them? 
They're normally in the door. Oh wait, I think I know where they are. I'll check and get back to you in five minutes. Laura? I can't find them. Ben isn't answering. He must be in a meeting. Do you have a spare set of keys? No. Damn, will you be okay? Yeah, I'll be okay. It's just a shame. Plus it's your day off. <laughs> Never mind. We'll do it another time. Armin, are you doing anything tomorrow night? <laughs> I really like their relationship. Yeah, cute. They're great. Now, why? I've been contacted by the Pink Sunshine, Pink Sunshine Kids Association. You were an intern there, right? Yeah, yeah, that's the place. Oh, tell all. They want to hire me. I start in January. Woo! Champagne, champagne, champagne. Wait, I'll call you. Carmen, I have to call you. Something truly horrendous has happened at work. I really have to talk to you. Oh. Laura, I just saw your missed calls. I'll call you. Carmen, have you got a minute? Yeah, it's fine. We don't have too many customers and the others can manage for a moment. What's the problem? What's the latest your period has ever been? Oh. Uh, I don't know. Three or four days, maybe? Okay. I haven't had my period during my pill-free days. Oh. Have you done a test? I bought one at the drugstore. It was negative. But I don't know if I left it long enough. And I also forgot to take my pill a few times. Okay. I'm freaking out here. I don't want a baby right now. I don't know if I want a kid with Ben right now. It'll all be fine. We'll work it out. First, go and have a blood test. The drugstore testing kits aren't always reliable. Laura? I'll call you. Can you call me when you have a second? That's the this fifth. Is, yeah, that was the last known date of Laura. Yeah. Woof. Okay, uh, really quick, we will go check the power job for Ben. Oh, we do have messages from Ben. I knew you missed some. Might be. <laughs> wow, oh, wow. I felt it okay. in my bones. We missed some, okay. Okay, Summer's doing this show from now on. Uh, contact her to replace me. Did we message? Did we see the messages with Charlotte either? Okay, you know what? It's hot. <laughs> anyway, go. I, the thing is, it just bumps you down to the bottom every time. So I just felt like we missed some. Okay, anyway. Hello. I don't know if you remember me, but I'm the person who was working in the cloakroom at the fair trade you attended this weekend. I don't usually do this, and I feel really embarrassed, but I got the impression we really connected. So I was cheeky and searched for your profile and power job. If I imagined all this and was dreaming, please ignore this message. And I apologize for my lack of professionalism. Of course I remember you and you weren't dreaming. There was a spark between us. Whew, that makes me feel so much better. I've been wondering all day if I should write to you. I'm glad you did. I was sad at the thought of never seeing you again. That bad, huh? I even contacted the organizers of the show to find out who you were. What did they say? Someone told me the hospitality tally staff were hired through an events agency, but they could only give me the name of the agency, but I didn't dare call them because I was afraid they'd think I was a stalker or something. Wow, you sure went to great lengths to find me. I'm really pleased. Do you want to meet up? Yeah, but I don't know when. I'm so busy at work at the moment. I'm working nonstop. Ah, uh, okay. So you don't even have time for lunch? No, I'm not kidding. I'm having lots of business lunches and dinners at the moment. Otherwise, I eat at my PC so I don't waste time. But uh, why don't you come to my house on October 31st? I'm having a party with friends. Not very romantic, I know, but they're a great bunch of people. Okay, I will. My address is 10 Painter Road. Come in a disguise. I'm going to write that down just in case. I feel, yeah, I feel like that'll come up. Road. Question mark. It's like a fancy dress evening. I'm going as a vampire because I'm wearing the same costume as last year, but if you want to wear something a little more original, then please do. My friends will love it. Okay, I'll try and find a funny outfit. Okay, Charlotte. Did we read Claire's? We did. Oh, wait, uh, what? Oh, <gasps> oh it's okay. the same icon as Amanda, but it's someone else. Okay, that'll be juicy. Okay, that'll be really right. juicy. Hey, uh, sorry to contact you via your power job and not your office email, but I don't want the guys in the IT department, IT department to read this message. Michael has called me in for a meeting tomorrow. Has he asked you too? Did he contact everyone or just me? I'm freaking out here. I think he wants to talk to you about the email you sent to the entire office. 
Huh? What email? You know, that video of you? Everyone's talking about it. Oh, fuck. Whoa, what video? The one that's a little, you know, risque, if you know what I mean. I thought it was a tad strange that you'd sent it to all your colleagues. Personally, I really didn't want to see you in that situation. <laughs> Sweat. What? You must have pressed the key by mistake to send th- something like that around the office. Who did you actually want to send it to? Do you have a lover within the association or something? Do tell. But I never intended to send a video to anyone. What's going on? Ouch. Okay, well, I don't know what happened, but we all received an email from you with a video I'd have preferred not to see. I don't get it. Are you sure it's really me? Oh, it's really you. We can even hear your voice and you're saying things like, this video is just for you, my little bunny. Wait a second. My little bunny? That's what I used to call my first boyfriend. I made him a sexy video for his birthday when we were in a long-distance relationship, but I was only 20 at the time and it was ages ago. But how could I have sent it to everyone at the office? It's not even in my outbox. I'm going to punch this man. I think it was sent from your personal email address. I just noticed the email address that was used isn't your work email. So what address was it sent from? Ah, it's not your private email either. Do you have any other email addresses? It starts with laura.b1991. I don't have an email address like that. Maybe someone's pretending to be you and they've done a convincing job. It's totally weird and gross. Good luck with your meeting with Michael, by the way. Oh my God, do you think he's seen it too? Probably. He's going to fire me. Just explain everything. I'm sure he'll be really understanding. I hope it all goes well. So what happened with Michael? Well, he was really understanding. I was so surprised. Go on. Oh, Jesus. On the one hand, the situation is worse than I thought. The video hasn't just been sent to everyone in the association, but to our business partners too. And some of them have called Michael saying they don't feel comfortable working with us now and want to withdraw their sponsorships of the concert. So it's not only horrible for me, but it's also putting the association at risk. It's just so embarrassing. I feel totally humiliated. But on the upside, Michael has been beyond simply understanding. He's shocked at what's happened to me and wants to give me as much support as possible. He's going to talk to everyone who made nasty comments, some were behaving pretty inappropriately during the coffee break, and said I could work from home until this blows over. So that's why that guy said, I like have been thinking about your yeah. ass all day because they all got this fucking video. And that's what she thinks Alex sent. Alex, or whatever, you dipshit. Whatever. Well, she thinks he sent it. I don't know. Yeah. He might not have, but he could have, right? I mean, he's the one that received it. So it is the most yeah. likely. Yeah. But yeah, we'll see. Yeah. So he's not getting rid of you, but doesn't want you at the office either? I don't see it that way. It was a suggestion, not an order. But anyway, I'm so mad at the person who sent this video. Have you any idea who it could be? Well, it kept me up all night, but I really don't know. I don't get the feeling I have any enemies. Do you think it could be someone from the association who wants my job? Mm, Is that even a possibility? Or maybe someone from outside the office, someone I studied with and who wants to apply for my job. That could also be true. I'm mad as hell. I want to find this person and file a complaint against them. Because how could they get all of her work contacts? Yeah. You know? You're right. Anyway, it's someone who was able to access your work contacts and this video. Dot, dot, dot. You said it was a video you made for your ex, so I guess he kept it? Dot, dot, dot. Well, it's possible, right? Would he have a reason to hurt you? No, I don't think so. Or maybe your email account was hacked. Actually, no, that doesn't make sense. A hacker would have used it to blackmail you. I can't bear thinking about it anymore. I feel physically sick. I have an anxious feeling in the pit of my stomach and I can't breathe. Come on, let's go out onto the terrace for a break. No, I just want to go home. Michael's suggestion was a really good idea. I have to chill out. I can't stop looking at everyone in the office and thinking at best they've all seen me naked. And at worst case, one of them has violated my privacy and is having a great time exposing it to the world. I understand. Go home and relax. Call me if you need me. Let's find out this fucking Claire is using the same one as Amanda. Yeah. Uh, And this is April... And yeah. that was February when that okay. all went down, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it was right before Valentine's Day. God, brutal. Hello, Claire. Or should I say Amanda? 
Seriously, what is this crap? I just saw your profile in Ben's contacts. Your name isn't Amanda, is it? You're one of Ben's old friends. He told me you were crazy, but I still find it hard to believe that you created a fake oh. account to initiate friendship with me. So what precisely did you hope to achieve? I can explain everything. Yeah, you'd better. And I can't wait to see what Ben has to say when I tell him. I'm sorry I lied to you, Laura, but I had to find a way to talk to you without Ben knowing. Don't tell him you know me right away. Will you trust me? How can I trust you? You've been lying to me for weeks, so this is the person we did meet up with. Yeah. Okay, cool. Ben isn't the guy you think he is. He's a bastard of the worst kind. I was friends with him and his ex, Julia. He was constantly undermining her. He manipulated her. He manipulated all the people around her so they kept their distance. He isolated her, spied on her, and caused her to lose all her self-esteem. He's not a nice guy. I was trying to get closer to you because I wanted to warn you. I did nothing to help Julia and still regret to this day that I didn't intervene. I don't want the same thing to happen to you. I'm sorry I used a fake identity to approach you, but I was worried he'd already told you about me and you wouldn't listen to me if you knew who I was. I wanted to talk to you first to find out if he was behaving as badly toward you as he did with Julia. You're just saying that to break us up. You want him for yourself, don't you? Now that I think about it, it was you who sent the video. Do you have the faintest idea of the consequences of your actions on my life, my career, and most of all, my association? I can understand if you just wanted to hurt me out of jealousy. But to damage an organization that helps sick kids, you're a monster. You don't give a damn about this association. You don't care about the sick kids. That stuff about your boss and his niece in the hospital was all lies. Do you at least work at an uh, Endero? Yes, I really do work at Endero, but no, the boss doesn't have a niece in hospital. I took some days off work to come and help you, but what's all this about a video? Don't act as if you don't know what I'm talking about. I honestly don't know what you're talking about. Someone created a false email account in my name and sent an erotic video of me to all the employees and partners of the association. If someone tried to harm you and you don't know who it is, it's probably Ben. It sounds like just the kind of manipulative games he likes to play. Try entering his year of birth as password to that fake email account. That's the phony password he uses for everything that doesn't require enhanced security. Oh, Jesus. It works. Well, but we don't know that because it could be her. Yeah. Still, it works. There are even replies I hadn't even seen yet. But I mean, he has had weird vibes. He has yeah, sort he of, has. he's withdrawn from every social engagement and has tried yeah. to isolate her and been like, don't go hang out with your friends. Come do a thing with me. Oh my God. Well, so they there still you go. Seem solid, kind of at the end. They, they, there was a lack of, there was a lack of anything, which reads it solid. He sent the video. You mustn't trust him. I bet he spent long evenings consoling you after the aftermath of this video. He was tender, sweet, understanding. You felt like he was so supportive and the only one you could count on. So now he's got you even more tightly in his clutches. No, stop. It was you who created that fake email account. You chose his, his year of birth as a password to make me think it was him because you're trying to turn me against him, but you're actually the one behind all this, you dirty rat. <laughs> Don't ever talk to me again or I'll tell the president of Endero that you're telling lies about him and using your work position to settle a personal score. You don't have to believe me, but don't say anything to Ben. I'm scared for you. He became, became extremely violent with Julia when she wanted to leave him, and now I really regret not intervening. Please don't tell him anything and change the password to your power job account so he doesn't see these messages. What do we think? <sighs> do we have anything with Julia? Julie Julian. Um, Ben mentioned Julia as his crazy ex. If I remember correctly, where was it? Da, 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 da. I thought he was talking about. B -b 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 this girl, Claire. You You're okay. Yada, yada, yada. Oh my God, where is it? Friends asked me to come around. Oh yeah, I think Claire will be there and I don't really want to see her again. Claire is yeah. the crazy one. Which again is, she wants to go to a thing and he's like, no, there's a person that you really shouldn't talk to because she's crazy. This is it's pretty textbook. I don't I, I I don't trust him. Even a little bit. Okay, cloud save. 
But I also think it's a, weird. Why would she know the password to his email? Like his like go-to password? Because uh, she was friends with the... Eh, I mean, I guess that's true. Like she wasn't a girlfriend or anything like that. She was just, you know. Oh God, what's work the work account, account password? Um, I think it's this. I'm just going to copy paste it. Can you copy paste in this? I'm going to send it to you in Discord because it's... Oh God. That. No, I cannot. Okay. Oh, uh, it's just numbers it's anyway. Numbers. Yeah. Then I have no idea. It was in our messages with the IT person, Nadia. 4004. That was our nope. go to the door. Um, choose a password that will be associated with your save. Damn it. We can try the same one, two, one, two, one. I guess. Okay, cloud save. Two, one, two, one. No. Four, zero, zero, four? No. Fuck. Hmm. Yeah, we have no clues even. An anniversary, maybe? Hmm. I want to go back to this message. Save and for what purpose? Content notes from the phone. Choose a password that will be associated with your save. It's all very clear. Enter the work email address associated with your work phone and the password you chose. Hmm. Is there anything else in our messenger? Oh yeah, there's tons of stuff in here. Jesus. Okay. Alex, the X. Oh, this is relatively positive interactions from pretty recent. Okay. Hi, I sent you a parcel. Did you, did you receive it? No, I don't have it yet. <clears throat> ah! <laughs> but I paid for express delivery. I'll let you know the moment I get it. <clears throat> it's here. It has birthday. Do not open written on the package. Is that right? Can I open it now or do I have to wait six months? I know I'm a tad late, but it was international. Tomorrow it will be exactly six months after your birthday. Okay, so when can I actually open this parcel? Tomorrow. Alex, thanks. Antoine Gr uh, Grillet's latest album. Ha! Ah! That's one of the artists that she wanted to... That's the one she wanted to headline the concert. Yeah. Very merry on birthday to you, by the way. It's all I've been able to listen to all day. Hi, I'm starting to uh, I'm starting work at the Emperor restaurant today. I'm stressed out. Damn, we missed each other. I'm sure it'll all go fine. It was okay. Alex, you're not at work? Uh, no, day off today, but I'm going out so I won't be home much longer. You're going out? A romantic date with your girlfriend at a cozy little cafe? Hmm, well, that's not going to happen. Really? We more or less broke up. Two weeks ago, things weren't working out between us. We didn't like the same things and we didn't have the same goals, but don't worry about it. It's cool. Oh. Well, anyway, everything's fine. Don't worry. I feel dumb. Why? I was going to tell you about my love life, but never mind. No, I'm interested. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah. Tell me everything. I met someone about a month ago. He's called Ben. What's he like? Honestly, he's the kind of guy who will check on you to see if everything's okay at least once a day and things like that. And he loves my cooking too. Cool. I am happy for you. Are you sure you don't mind me talking about my relationship? Sure. No problem. Period. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Gotta go. I have to finish getting ready. See you later. Laura, what's all this about the email? What happened? Are you kidding me? Go ahead. Play innocent. Laura, I have no idea what you're talking about. At least tell me what you're accusing me of. 
you know full well what you sent to all the people at my office and to my work contacts. I don't know what your problem is, but you're a little shit. Okay. So why don't you just calm down and explain what this is all about? Calm down? You're such a jerk. I'm just disappointed in myself that I didn't notice earlier. What are you talking about, Laura? Do you want me to spell it out or what? Yes, please. The sexy video I sent you when we were together? Uh, okay, firstly, one, do you think I actually kept it? Two, why would I send it to your work contacts? And anyway, how would I get hold of your work contacts? Are you kidding? Who else would have sent... Who else would you but have that video, huh? It's the one thing... It's one thing that you're a moron, but the fact that you're too much of a coward to admit what you've done, you're gross. Okay. Listen. Just think for a moment, and you'll realize it couldn't have been me. One, I don't have access to your work contacts, and even on power job, it would take me a ridiculous amount of time and too much research to find them. Two, I have no reason to do that to you. If I was pissed off that we weren't together anymore, I wouldn't do something like that to you now, years later. Three, let's say I did want to hurt you in some way. I would never have used that video which would immediately point to me as the prime suspect. So I'll leave you to think about it. Have a nice day. Laura? I know you've seen my messages. Please answer me. Hey, Alex. I dozed off yesterday, but having slept on it, I realize it makes no sense to accuse you. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have done that. I'm exhausted and mad at the whole world. It would have been easier for me to process if it had been you. At least I would have had some idea who it was, because no one had access to that video except for you and me. Don't hate me, please. Oh, it's cool. I, I guess you're pretty stressed out, but unfortunately, no, it wasn't me. Either someone's hacked your account or has direct access to your computer and phone. If I were you, I'd start by changing all your passwords. <laughs> and then set a password to lock your PC and phone if you haven't done that already. And for your phone, you should download Security Chest. It's an app where you can hide all the applications you don't want people to access. So I hope that'll help a little. Thanks so much. And once again, my humblest apologies. Hey, sorry I haven't been in touch for a while. I hope you're okay. Do you know how to choose secure passwords? Uh, I'm not sure, but what I do know is that long passwords are more secure. It needs to contain at least eight characters and can't be easy to crack. You have to avoid obvious sequences like ABCD or 1234 or your birthday, that kind of stuff. At least eight characters? My brain is in meltdown at the moment and I may not be able to remember them. Hmm, just choose something you use every day. For example, a password you use on your phone followed by another code you use regularly. I use the code for the alarm that I have to reset every time I leave and enter the restaurant. Thanks. Huh. This does not have a character limit. So I'm guessing it's going to be the, was it 2121? Yeah. Um, Plus 4004. Four. Oh, maybe. 2121400. Hey! Oh hey. my god. Oh my god. Okay, well, let's grab these. Oh uh, and then go back to our messenger and finish this. Yeah, oh my god. Emma! Eh, eh, eh. There we go. Coffee at the Beans and Spice? Oh yeah. It's been so long since I've had an <laughs> head good teeth. You can order to go now. <gasps> okay, let's go. <laughs> Are you running tonight? Yeah, at Orchid Park. Do you want to come? Yeah, yeah. Should I drop by your place before we go? No, you stay home. It's on the way there. Beans and spice. Go, 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 go. It's at Lyrebird Park tonight. Okay, see you later. Want to see a movie? There'll be lots of people from Icon. What's showing? It's a B-movie festival. It starts with the return of the skeleton woman. <laughs> Sounds great. Is it early evening screening? Yes. Okay, I'll see you there. Is the party at Ting's? Yeah, do you know where it is? Nope. Well, uh, <laughs> drop my place and we'll go... Buy my place and we'll go together. 
Want to go jogging? It's been a while. Okay, I'll come to your apartment in 30 minutes. Narrow Lanes Park? I've never been there, but okay. Emma, you're coming to the space bar. You have no choice. There's an 80s karaoke night. Ooh, yeah. It starts at the same time as usual. Meet outside the bar? Okay. The weather's nasty. Yes. Dr. Cupcake? Dr. Cupcake. See you in 25 minutes. <laughs> Antoine Corlette is playing at the Soundbirds Festival tomorrow. Hmm. It's not really my kind of music. My God. <laughs> Are you good? This you got person this. will be playing too. No, you got it. You can do it. No. Just sound it out. Pon Pono Mutonico. We'll be there we go. Too. Close enough. <laughs> Ooh, why didn't you say so? Shall I meet at er, gate three? Okay, I'll call you if I can't find you. I had a big clear out and there were lots of clothes I don't want to wear anymore. I thought they might suit you. You want to drop by and take a look? Ooh, is your apple green blouse with the flowers on it in the discard pile? Yeah, it doesn't fit me anymore. Oh, then I'll snap up the bargain then. <laughs> Hi, do you want to go on a double date to the movie slash restaurant next week? I don't know if Ben will want to go. He's been a little on edge recently. Mm-hmm. But when you told me about him at the tea shop last time, it sounded like you were both madly in love. Yeah, yeah, we still are, but he can be a bit exhausting at times. Like, just the other day, he made this big scene because I sent Alex a gift for his birthday. Alex? Your ex-boyfriend? Yeah. Hmm. Well, it is kind of bizarre. Really? Well, I think it's pretty strange that you're still friendly enough with your ex to send him a gift. Well, things were fine when we were together, and it's and fine when we broke up, so why not stay friends? Yeah, but you're not exactly helping Ben trust you, are you? There's another man in your life who you were in an intimate relationship with before, and you're still sending him birthday gifts. He's not a member of family. Hmm, okay, I get your point. Well, Emma, you're not being a bro. Hi, Laura. Are you coming to the party at Kitty's? No, I don't feel like it. I'm so tired. Too bad. Everyone will be there. I'm totally exhausted. The only thing I feel like doing is going home and crawling into bed. Oh, that's a pity. Hi, we're trying to organize a, a kayaking trip with friends. Would you and Ben like to come? You need to tell me by Monday so we can make a reservation. Hi, Laura. We haven't seen you for a while. I hope you're well and everything. XOXO. It was right after the video. Yeah. But also, they haven't talked since. Yeah. Mm. Did Kitty tell you about the space bar? The bar you went to when you were students? That's the one. Do you want to go there tonight? Sure. Call me when you're free. I have nothing planned. <sighs> Hi, are we still meeting at the mall? Yeah, but I'm running late. Sorry. Sorry. Okay, call me when you arrive. Shall we have a little space bar session? Ooh, my bank account won't like it. Whatever, I'm buying. You can pay me back in homemade smoothies. Oh, all right then. That's friendship right there. Victor and I finally found the perfect lounge table. How cool is that? It's a table that folds out and back in again. So it's both a small table and a quite big one when we have more people around. It even has extensions that you can pull out. Have you fallen in love with this table? Yeah, we're getting married in two weeks. So you're leaving Victor? Haha. -ha. Space bar? Space bar. I'm doing brunch this Friday, or er, with friends this Saturday. Do you want to come? I sure do. What should I bring? We've got the basics covered. So if you want to bring something special, then go ahead. Hmm, pigs on toast. Ooh, lovely. See you Saturday then. It's space bar time! <laughs> oh no, not that goddamn jingle you can't get out of your head. <laughs> do, 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 from the other side of the galaxy. <laughs> do, 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 a space bar! Wanna go out for a meal tonight? I found a new restaurant that isn't too expensive. I feel like they put this in here just for less players. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I have approximately 3,424,535,243 dissertations to grade. 
Ouch, good luck. I have a discount voucher for trainers from Sports & Co. Would you like it? Oh, yeah. I have to buy some new trainers to go jogging in. I'm passing by your place this afternoon. Dro drop it in your mailbox. Ooh, thanks. Do you want to come around to have a drink? No, I can't. I have so much to do this afternoon. Okay, then. Hi, Laura. We're going to Space Bar this afternoon. Do you want to come? I sure do. I love those strawberry guava lemon basil cocktails. Plus, I have some big news for you. Stay after. Should we meet at my place beforehand? Okay, see you later. You must give me the recipe for that zucchini you made us the other day. Haha, <laughs> hey lady, that's a trade secret. Ooh, I won't tell anyone, I promise. I'll give it to you tomorrow when I see you at Daniel's place. I'm going shopping at the DIY store. Do you need anything to fix stuff in your apartment before you hand it over? Oh yeah, thanks. Shall I come and pick you up? That would be great. Be there in 30 minutes. Hello, Daniel and I are having our joint birthday party this Saturday. Can you bring your famous zucchini dish? Wink. It never tastes as good when I do it. I'm not free on Saturday. Sorry. Oh no, that's too bad. We're going to try a new bar to make a change from Space Bar. It's called Corvo Bianco downtown. If you want to join us. Hmm. That's it. We're cutting off our friends. We're being isolated just like Claire said we would. Yup. Hi, Laura. Hello, Elsa. Are you still in Edgerton? Always and forever. I'm looking for a job. Haha, <laughs> well, you and me both then. Can I drop by your place tonight? Sure, it'll be great to catch up. I'll warn you, it's very small and very untidy. Ah, who cares? Don't worry, I live in a tiny box too, but it's fairly cheap for Edgerton. True. Do you still live in the same apartment? Yeah, the same matchbox. <laughs> I'll call you when I'm at the door. Hi, I found a cool little cafe, Java Genie. They have these terrific muffins. Mmm, do they serve tea too? Of course, they have their own blends and everything. Ah, now we're talking. I'm going jogging with Emma a few nights this week. Would you like to come with us? Hmm, I'm not a great fan of jogging. I think I'd just slow you down. Well, we do run pretty fast. But if you'd rather go for a bike ride in Lions Park sometime, I'd love to. On the weekend, maybe? I'll ask Emma if she'd like to come. I'm going to the Edelweiss Mall. You know, the one in the suburbs. Do you want to come? But why are you going way out there? There's a mall downtown, isn't there? Yeah, but the Edelweiss is often cheaper. And it's bigger. Ah, uh, in that case, why not? Cool. Meet at my place? I'll be there in 15 minutes. I'll make bike reservations tonight. Okay, thanks for seeing to that. I wouldn't even know where to do that or who to ask. <laughs> I go cycling every two weeks, so I'm used to it by now. Hi. I can't be bothered to cook tonight. Should we eat at a restaurant tonight? Uh, instead? Hmm, I don't have much money at the moment. I'll pay for you then. Ben and I were going to eat at home tonight. Oh, okay. Another time then. Smiley. Hi, I asked Emma and she'd love to go on another bike ride. We thought we'd get out of town and cycle in a more peaceful environment. Tamford Forest has some fabulous bike paths. Shall we go this weekend? No can do this weekend. Ben and I want to spend some time together. We can go some other time. Well, we actually have a lot of couple stuff planned on weekends this month. Oh, okay. That's a shame. Relationship over. That is a shame. Loud save. Okay, and we got a bunch of SMS and SMS some and notes. SMS and a bunch of notes. Notes, 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 notes. Eight. New ones. Okay, Domestic Violence Conference 2. Let's go to the first one. Um, domestic violence equals cycle. Manifests progressively within a relationship, initially tension and hostility. Cycle, four phases. Tension phase, irritability of the perpetrator, which is attributed to work, stress, traffic issues, etc. No physical violence, but hostile silences, aggressive looks, irritable tone, etc. Everything the victim does is a source of irritation to the perpetrator. Their stress and frustration is always the victim's fault. The victim tries to find out what's wrong, but is faced with responses like, no, it's nothing, I don't know why you're complaining, etc. Eventually it leads to verbal aggression and insults, and the victim regrets asking. Aggressive phase. The perpetrator appears to be losing control, yelling, insults, threats, breaking objects, often leading up to physical violence. Progressive physical violence, pushing, arm toasting, slaps, punches, use of a weapon. The victim is overwhelmed by feelings of powerlessness and sadness rather than anger. 
excuses phase. The perpetrator tries to deny or downplay his behavior. He finds an explanation that shifts the blame onto the victim. It's the victim's fault or the result of external pressure. He promises to change, says that everything will be fine, that he'll see a psychologist, etc. More promises, emotional blackmail, I need you, I'm nothing without you, I would die without you, etc. Reconciliation phrase. A honeymoon period, the perpetrator is suddenly attentive, considerate, showers the victim with gifts, etc. The perpetrator is very sincere, fearing that the victim will really leave him. He begs for forgiveness. Renewed hope that the perpetrator will really change, but this simply raises the victim's tolerance threshold to violence. The victim thinks they can cure him, help him, etc. The victim where, uh, wheeze, was, was frightening during the aggressive phase, but this phase persuades them to stay. The phases repeat themselves and spiral into a vicious cycle. The victim eventually perceives this violence as normal and their life can be at serious risk if this continues. Jekyll and Hyde behavioral patterns. <sighs> yeah, so I get the feeling shit with Ben is not great. Yeah, it does seem that way. You want me to read this one? Please. Okay. Physical and psychological violence are linked. There is no physical violence without the psychological violence that precedes it. Psychological violence equals a series of attitudes and comments to de uh, denigrate, destabilize, and hurt the other person. This is not a unique event, but an integral part of the relationship. It is intended to subdue the other, control them, and to maintain the feeling of power. Subtle mistreatment without physically striking, creating tension, frightening the victim to demonstrate his power. Difficult to quantify and evaluate because it is subjective and depends on the level of sensitivity of each victim. Several types of behavioral patterns or attitudes that can be considered microaggressions. Control. Possessive vocabulary. Monitoring the victim maliciously in order to dominate and command them. Example, taking control of mealtime, sleep, spending, social life, etc. Isolation. Isolating the victim from family, friends, colleagues, social acquaintances. The perpetrator ensures that the victim's life is essentially focused on him exclusively. Example, taking the victim's phone, computer, etc. Insinuations and lies about other people in the victim's life. Isolation is both a cause and a consequence of mistreatment. Uh, pathological jealousy. Jealous behavior, constant suspicion, unfounded accusations of intent, etc. No basis in reality. Requires the victim's continuous and exclusive presence. There is no way of appeasing pathological jealousy because it is simply a denial of reality. Harassment. Repeating a message to exhaust mental and critical judgment capacities of the victim, like making them accept anything, monitoring the person, following the victim in the street, harassing them on the phone, waiting for the victim as she leaves work. Harassment often occurs, often occurs after a breakup. Denigration affects the victim's self-esteem, making them believe they are worthless, dismissive attitudes and hurtful words. Causes the victim to lose self-confidence, expresses doubts about the victim's mental health, denigrates their intellectual abilities, their body and appearance, etc. Launches a systematic attack on the victim's family, friends, and or children. This can happen without words that appear to be, um, though this can happen with words that appear to be sincere and normal. Humiliation. Disparages, ridicules, and acts in a disrespectful way towards the victim. This is merely an outlet for the perpetrator's anger. Example, mocking, spitting in the victim's face, making crude noises, urinating on the victim, creating a feeling of shame that serves as an additional obstacle to prevent the victim from uh, talking about their concerns. Intimidation. Exhibits act of indirect violence. Example, on their violent environment, breaking objects, slamming doors, etc. Driving too fast, cruelty towards a pet, etc. Shows the victim that physical violence could happen to them too. Creates a feeling of fear in the victim. Indifference to emotional demands. Refusal to show any concern to the victim, insensitivity, making a show of rejection or contempt, intentionally creates a situation of lack and frustration, refusing to communicate, going to family events, etc. Disregarding the physical or psychological state of the other. Threats, blackmail, threats of suicide, threatens to withhold money, to abduct children, etc. Threats of retaliation against the family or entourage, maintaining power over the victim. Some of these acts can seem normal when isolated, but when they happen repeatedly over a long period of time to the same person, they become a form of violence. The perpetrator takes advantage of the emotional weakness of the victim, wearing them down mentally. Yup. Damn. Go back and see if there's any more notes that were deleted. Just scroll nope, a little bit more. That's it. Nope. Okay. Yeah. So big oofs. Huge oofs. Uh, and also, yes. 
And also, yes. So she went to these conferences and these were her notes that she took. Yeah. Okay. We have Amir. We have Charlotte, who he was like, I don't... Charlotte, he was like, I don't think your friend really likes me. Yeah. Okay. Let's start with Amir. Hey, Amir, it's Laura, Ben's girlfriend. I just wanted to know if you're still friends with Claire. Don't tell Ben I asked you. Hi, Laura. Uh, yeah. Why? Ben told me she tried to end his relationship with his ex, Julia, while they were still together because she wanted to date him herself. Is this true? Mm, no, I don't think so. And Anyway, Claire was dating Oliver at that time. Claire told me that Ben was violent with Julia. Do you think that's true? Let's say Julia was a complicated girl, but I got the impression there were times when he really lost it with her. I advised Ben to see a therapist or join a support group for people with anger issues, but he wouldn't listen. But you still remain friends with him? Uh, yeah. Why didn't you tell me this before? I don't know. What goes on in Ben's private line is, uh, life is none of my business, and it's ancient history now. Yeah, well, you could have at least warned me. Listen, I, I already told him to get some help. I did what I could. So this is God. June 1st. Yeah, so this was a few days before she bailed. Yeah, before she bailed, um, yeah. Don't be this guy. <laughs> do not. Do not be this guy. No. I did what I no, can. No. Did you? I did what I could. Okay, sure. <sighs> at the very least, at the very least, if you have been... A terrible person in the past, you owe it to your partner to be open about that. And if you know that your buddy has been terrible in the past and is not telling his partner about it. Snitch. Yeah, absolutely. A hundred percent. You're protecting the well-being of a completely innocent person coming into a situation unknowing. At okay, least give let's... them the fucking information, you know? Yeah. Okay, this. Okay. We There was a gap. Hi, Laura. How are you feeling today? So, so, why are you texting me on my work phone? After what you told me about your guy, I wanted to text you somewhere he couldn't read the message. A anyway, I suggest you use a password to lock your work phone and never unlock it in front of him. He already flew into this heavy, jealous rage when I wanted to lock my personal phone, so I don't think that's a good idea. What do you mean, heavy? He yelled at me and said I was hiding things from him. He accused me of having a lover and said I didn't really love him and that I was locking my phone because I didn't trust him. Okay, I get it. That's bad. It's not normal, you know. I don't know. But at the same time, I understand him. He needs reassurance to know that I love him. Don't you think it's a mark of trust in the other person to let them see contents of your phone? No, I disagree. A real mark of trust would be to believe the other person and not always feel the need to have proof of their love and faithfulness by snooping through their phone. Plus, it's important for both partners to have their own secret garden. Listen, for him, it's not really negotiable. He's been lied to in the past and needs some reassurance. Yeah, I get it, but it's not great. If you want a reason for locking your phone, you'll just have to stay, say Michael insisted on it. What do you mean? So you lock your work phone and tell him it was Michael's orders and he wants the work phones to be more secure because the phone contains confidential work stuff. Yeah, okay. I don't see why I would need to lie to him though. Damn, Charlotte out here being a homie. It's unhealthy not to have a space where you can grouch about your relationship occasionally without him knowing. Yeah, but if I'm having relationship problems, I should just talk to him, shouldn't I? Sure, but it's sometimes good to talk to your girlfriends to have another point of view. Okay, okay. I'll lock this phone. Hi, how are you? Exhausted. I've just been running for an hour. Wow, congratulations. Where do you go running now? It's been a while since we bumped into each other at the park. That's hardly surprising, because I run on a treadmill we have at home now. Wow, those things are expensive, aren't they? It was a present from Ben. A pretty si silly gift, huh? I mean, you can run outside for free. Yeah, but it's so handy. I can run when I want to, and I don't get harassed in the street by stupid men. Since when have stupid men stopped you from running, winky face? Well, that's true, but Ben was worried about me and prefers me not to go out. Wait a second, what do you mean he prefers you not to go out? Yeah, he's afraid something might happen to me. But you 
do go out, don't you? You go shopping, meet friends, you still meet Amelia, Elsa. I get the shopping delivered, it's easier. And I'm talking to my friends less and less at the moment. Why is that? Oh, you know, you tend to have fewer friends as time goes on. And when you're in a relationship, you don't see people as much. But you still see Emma, don't you? Not really. Since I've been with Ben, things have become a little complicated. Nearly all of my friends have faded away. I'm starting to wonder if they're jealous. What do you mean, jealous? Well, you know, I'm one of those rare and lucky people among my girlfriends who's found a job they love, and my life with Ben is fabulous. Not only am I happy in my relationship, but he has money too, so financially I'm living in a fairy, a fairy tale while they're struggling. And do you think they're keeping their distance because they're jealous? That's the only explanation Ben and I could come up with. Sad, but there it is. Ah, yes. These friends who bought you drinks when you were too poor to get drinks. They are jealous. so jealous of you and your money. and your They're boyfriend. the jelliest. Oh, honey. Laura, I'm sorry to tell you this, but Ben's behavior isn't normal. He's the one who's jealous. I get the impression he's controlling you, that he's isolating you. Don't be ridiculous. I'm saying this based on what you're telling me. He's jealous and wants to read the contents of your phone. He controls you by not letting you go out on your own. He's manipulating you with the treadmill gift. He's isolating you from your girlfriends by insinuating they're jealous of you. That is not normal, and this doesn't happen in a normal relationship. He has a problem. You always focus on the negative. It's not like that at all, Charlotte. I swear, it's nothing to worry about. Okay, he has his faults, but nothing serious. No, he has a problem, and of course you're blind to it. You're madly in love with him. Okay, so you have your own take on things and just won't let it go. You're a pain in the ass. I guess it's useless talking to you. Sorry if I'm interfering and it's none of my business, but I'm worried. Like I told you, everything's fine. Leave me alone. I'm here if you need me. Hi, Laura. How are you? Hey, I don't know if you're mad at me, but you know I still consider you my friend and I'm here if you need me. Oh, thank fuck somebody noticed and is still checking yeah. in with her consistently. Because the other friends are just like, she's faded away. They don't yeah. know that her boyfriend is so manipulative. Just to wish you a very happy birthday and I hope everything's okay with you. Hi, thanks for your happy birthday message. How are you at the moment? Not great, I have to say. What's up? One of Ben's former friends contacted me and said some terrible things about him and it really upset me. I can imagine. Have you mentioned it to Ben? No. Really? Why? She told me he had a history of violent behavior with his ex and it's really freaking me out. But then Ben already told me about this girl and how she was in love with him and would do anything to have him to herself. I don't know what to think. Okay, so how do you feel about it? My first reaction was to not believe her, but then I thought about everything you said and it started to realize that I should leave him. And I've given it some serious thought, especially as he's been pretty difficult to live with recently. But he was so sweet to me on my birthday, so I'm confused. He's aware of his faults, you know? Which means... He knows he's too oppos uh, possessive and he does apologize. His work is really exhausting. Sometimes he drinks a little too much to unwind and then says some things that he doesn't really mean. Alcohol is no excuse for bad behavior. But he knows when he's gone too far. My birthday was so romantic. He took me away on a surprise weekend and it was fantastic. I really felt like I'd rediscovered the Prince Charming I once knew. I'm really glad we read those notes before getting to these texts or else me too. we'd be stopping to give so much context here. <sighs> but aren't you scared he'll start over? No, not at all. He even promised to see a psychoanalyst to address his anger management issues. Okay, keep me posted on how the situation develops, all right? Okay. Promise? Promise. A week later. Hi, how are you? Did things get better with Ben? No. What do you mean? Since he worries about me all the time, he got me to install an app so I can quickly send him my GPS coordinates if I have a problem. Basically, it was meant to be really practical things, so if I was attacked or anything, I could, in theory, discreetly press a button to let him know where I was. But then he wanted me to use it at a specific time to reassure him so he knew I was safe at home. 
So I was sending him a message every lunchtime, and then it turned into twice a day, and then three times, and finally every hour. And the other day I went out to get a coffee and when I used the app, it told him I was out. And when he came back that night, he went into this massive jealous rage and it made no sense. He was convinced I was meeting another guy at the cafe and he just got this idea in his head. He was yelling at me. It was horrible. I just let him yell at me. I was paralyzed with fear. He wouldn't let me sleep that night. As soon as I dozed off, he'd wake me up again and demand I tell him the name of the person I was at the cafe with. The next morning at breakfast, I told him I'd had enough and couldn't go on like this. Then his attitude totally changed. He told me he was not—he was nothing without me and I meant everything to him and that he was scared of losing me, that he didn't know what he would do without me. I'd really like to leave him, but I'm scared to, you know? I'm frightened for him. He needs he needs me to help him get better. Oh my God. Uh, Laura, uh, run! Buddy. Run! Uh, easier said than done, but like... Fucking oof. Yeah, I mean, it's obviously really difficult to just leave. Yeah. Well, and like... Well, you're conditioned over time not to. Yeah. Because, yeah. like, I mean, the, the fact of the matter is you care about this person, right? Yeah. Like, you, you have spent time caring about this person or you wouldn't have fallen into the situation in the first place. Um, people don't reach this point where they're like, oh, they're so nice, if there wasn't a period of time where they were so nice. Um, yeah. And where a genuine relationship of some kind was was created. Um, now, there, like, there can be extenuating circumstances where the own person can be in such an insecure situation where they're like desperate for some kind of stability and safety and they think that relationship presents it. There's nuance. But like in general, what happens is you have a reasonable connection with someone and then as you grow closer they become more comfortable sharing their insecurity with you and the form that their insecurity takes is abuse and at that point you're like you feel locked in um but and like at the same time right like he has shit to work on he's not working on it but like there's this narrative in her head of he has a problem if he just works on it then it'll be fine yeah and it's so hard to get past that especially if you're a forgiving person in general um or you like are big on redemption and whatnot like it's hard to hold at the same time the idea you know everyone deserves a second chance everyone deserves to live a life of fulfillment and happiness and also right like this person isn't pursuing that life and yeah. so i cannot be safe around them right like, yeah especially because like it's clear he has excuses i mean we're about to see in the next couple text messages he yeah. has excuses for why he can't work on it right now mm -hmm. and then you get into this kind of narrative i don't know if we're going to see these in these texts but he's supporting her right like he's mm -hmm. financially well off she lives with him you know, it's all of this time and energy that she's put into a person and a relationship. And he's the fact that he's acknowledged his flaws and ha that makes her feel like he's incredibly self-aware, which means that, well, wouldn't he be able to change since he recognizes his flaws, right? And he clearly wants to, but he's just so busy because he's taking care of me, right? Yeah. Like it's just this horrible cyclical narrative that she put in her notes, you know, from the mm -hmm. conference or whatever, like you have to overcome so much and your own desire to see this person that you love be better than they are. Yeah. Um, it's well, really, really rough. And in, in the most charitable terms possible, all the self-awareness in the world does you nothing if you don't have the tools to act on that knowledge. Like, if you don't have the emotional maturity to process whatever is going on with you to pack that up and put it away and stop abusing the people around you knowing that you're abusing the people around you doesn't stop it from happening so that self-awareness is it's it's tricky right because it sounds like you said it sounds like he's got a handle but that knowledge is useless 
in this case because he doesn't have he clearly does not have the tools available to him to do something with the fact with, with that information yeah he just continues to be terrible but like i know i'm terrible i know it's bad like i mean no. he had a friend tell him years ago by yeah. amir's own admission to get help to see somebody for anger problems years yep. ago so this is not new yeah. this is not a new thing for ben <laughs> okay it's not you he needs charlotte says it's a therapist i thought he was going to see a psychoanalyst he made an appointment but had to cancel because he was busy at work that day. Don't you get the feeling it's the same old pattern? He behaves badly, you threaten to leave, he apologizes and you change your mind? Listen, there's a conference followed by a, a support group meeting held by an association supporting victims of domestic violence. I've got a friend who works there. I'm going and I'd really like you to come with me, okay? Damn, Charlotte's like, I'm already going. <sighs> come with me. You're just coming with me. You're coming with a friend, you know? So we've unlocked two text conversations. We have Amir, the friend you absolutely shouldn't be, and Charlotte, <laughs> the friend we should all strive to be. Yeah. Like, even if Charlotte, like, I have a feeling even if she wasn't going, she, or even if she didn't know about it, she's, like, quickly looking uh, up yeah. <laughs> support group yeah. meetings. And she's like, I'm going to this thing anyway. Yep. You should come with me, Laura. Yep. Like, Yep. Oh. That's that's anytime a friend MVP. messages me with a crisis, I'm already googling the crisis. I'm like, yeah. how to? Hit. I had a friend who had surprise kittens show up in their house, and immediately I was like, how to take care of kittens? <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, okay, here's here's a point by kitten. point action plan for how to keep the kittens alive during the night. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. But I'm not a victim of domestic violence. Ben's never hit me. Okay. So he's never hit you, but sometimes when you talk, I get the feeling you're suffering psychological abuse, and the conference will be tackling that issue too. What do I know? I'm not an expert, but it could be interesting to meet them, don't you think? Worst case scenario, you'll see that it doesn't apply to you, and at best you'll learn something about domestic abuse. It happens a lot, but people tend not to talk about it. You can at least find out, surely. So what do I tell Ben, the reason why I'm not there when he gets back? Tell him you're having a drink with me, and I'll bring you home. That way he'll see you're not with another guy. Okay, when is it? Next Thursday, after work. Well, why not? I'll drop by and pick you up. How are you feeling today? Bad. I didn't get a wink of sleep last night. I kept getting up to read the notes that I took during the meeting. There were so many things I recognized in Ben's behavior. It scares me. I feel so dumb and stupid for not realizing earlier. I've been so blind and you were so right. No, you're not stupid. The important thing is that you've woken up to what's going on. You're a strong woman and brave. But I've been so dumb to allow myself to be manipulated. Like, oh, honey. Uh. Ugh. This is not it. This is not the narrative you need to paint for yourself. But I've been so dumb to allow myself to be manipulated like that. I guess I should leave him, but I don't know what to do. I don't even have a place of my own anymore. You can come stay with me if you need to, when you're ready. Thank you so much, Charlotte. I'm so lucky that I can count on you. When I think of all the women talking at that support group yesterday, some are leaving, living in situations much worse than mine and have nobody around to help them. Thank you for being there for me. I'll always be there for you. And if something ever happens to me and I can't help you, you won't be alone. Look at all those women yesterday. Some terrible things happened to them and they thought they'd never come through. But the association always supported them and stuck by them. That's true, but I must insist. I can't thank you enough for your support. Hey, how are you today? I'm feeling so much better. Ben organized a lovely surprise to celebrate our six-month anniversary. It was fantastic. You know, maybe oh I exaggerated a little last time. It's not like he's a monster. Oh my god, half a year. All of this in half a year. Holy yeah. shit. They moved in together after knowing each other for one month. You Not know? even. It was like a yeah. day. It was exact. She, she came over and then she stayed for multiple days. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Uh, remember what they said at the conference about cycles of violence? I think that's what's happening between you and Ben. It's okay at the moment, but it's not the first time things have turned bad and then gotten better. Can I suggest something? Count the number of times a day Ben's behavior becomes unacceptable. That way you can monitor... That's what the... That's what the counter's for. That's what the counter's for. 
Fuck. <gasps> that is heartbreaking. We need to go look at the counter after this because I remember uh, it would go to zero and then it would be get count up and be really high. Yeah. That way you can monitor if there's a cycle with a steady progression of unacceptable beha acceptable behavior, then it stops and gets progressively work again. Mm. Okay, I'm going to install a counter on my phone to check. Um, that. Excuse you, why are you suddenly oh, a war now? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay, we both done exactly I was lost one. In the sauce. <laughs> Mm, okay, I'm going to install a counter on my phone to check that. Write everything down, won't you? Even the little innocuous comments. So if he comments how I dress, I write that down too? Yeah, even that. It's not up to him to tell you how to dress. It's your body. It's your choice. Keep me posted on what happens, okay? Okay. How are you? It's always Charlotte with the hi, how are you? Hi, how are you? You know? <sighs> we love it. Hi, Laura. I haven't heard from you. I'm worried. Are you Okay. Laura, please let me know if you're okay. I just want to make sure you're still alive. Sorry, I haven't been in touch for so long. I've made up my mind. Ben is dangerous. I have to leave this town, and I think I'm going to report him to the police. Start of June. You're right to report him. However, are you sure you really have to get out of town because of him? I don't want to leave just because of him. I want to go because I need to breathe again to heal myself in a peaceful and healthy environment. I'm just worried that I have nowhere to go. Ah, I just pressed a button on my computer and I don't know what to do. Okay. Uh, <laughs> listen, maybe I have a solution, but that means I'll have to talk about your situation with Michael. Are you okay with that? Okay. Okay. I've talked to Michael and we've come up with a solution. Michael low-key a homie too. Yeah. Decent boss. <laughs> yeah. There's a branch of the association that needs a communications manager. It's a long way from here in a quiet town and he offered to transfer you there. You'll be away from here, but at least you'll have a job. You could stay with the director until you find somewhere of your own. I've also checked that the Association for Support Victims, uh, for support for victims of domestic violence, has an office there, and they'll be able to help you file your complaint. So the stage is set for you to slip away. Just tell us when you're ready. Thanks. Don't mention it, but just one thing: you'll have to return your work phone to Michael. I would suggest you make a backup of all the content relative to your situation with Ben. It will be useful for you to have a timeline of events and maybe store the evidence for when you report him. Ask Nadia in the IT department. She'll explain how you can save the content. I'll call you soon with more details. Meanwhile, just act normally with Ben. You don't want him to suspect anything. Yeah, okay. Anything else here? Nope, no. that's everything from text. One new email from Laura. Lost phone? This message is for the unknown person who may find this phone. My name is Laura, and I own this phone. I'm not writing this to get it back, but I may need your kind help. My partner is a violent and dangerous man. Uh, sorry, this is Laura. You should be reading this. Oh, yeah. Okay. My partner is a violent and dangerous man. I've just left him to start a new life somewhere else and deliberately dropped this phone at a station when I was charging, uh, changing trains. I wanted to get rid of it so he couldn't locate me. I called my sister, who told me that he was harassing the people close to me to find out where I was, mm. and that makes my blood run cold. I've installed an app on my phone. Uh, I am here. If you use it, the app will send a notification indicating the phone's GPS coordinates. I'm hoping to lead him down a false trail so he leaves my friends and family alone. The code to unlock the GPS is attached. Obviously, I would please ask you to erase the data on this phone and then throw it away so he can't locate me and to prevent him from harassing you as well. Whatever, don't worry about me. I'm safe and intend to make a formal complaint against him. Oof. Ugh. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I can remember that. Okay. Uh, we got to turn on so the GPS, GPS first. Yeah, that's what we're doing. Uh, eh, eh. Settings. GPS. Enable GPS. Yeah, here we go. So okay. one. Down, up, down, over, up, across, uh, diagonally, and then back over to the left. Yep. Okay, GPS okay. is on. Go ping Ben. Ben. 
It was Ben who sent the video. I apologize, Ken, for having wrongly accused you. I could see things were... Oh, this is you. Sorry. Oh, yeah, yeah. I could see things were going badly in our relationship, but every time I told myself I was going to leave him, he became adorable, sweet, and romantic again. I really thought he would change, but the cycle kept repeating. Hey! What a... What a difficult but good game. The doctor said I was missing my period because I was so stressed and had lost a lot of weight. And when Ben discovered I wasn't pregnant, he went crazy and called me selfish for not wanting to have a child with him. And then it suddenly dawned on me. The pill reminders that had been that had disappeared from my phone, it was mm. him. He wanted me to forget. And he didn't even deny it when I confronted him. Christ. You were right. Forgive me for not believing you. Ben was insanely jealous, and I now realize he was manipulating me. He was convinced I was hiding things from him, and I think he was actually tracking my phone. He ended up pushing me when he tried to snatch it out of my hands. I thought it was best to leave before he went too far, and I threw my phone and SIM card away just in case. Yeah, Claire tried to warn her early days. Yeah. Or I guess earlier than most people. I actually felt ashamed. I was convinced that I was to blame for the situation with Ben and didn't dare tell anyone. Forgive me for having gone so far away without letting you know. I just feel empty now. I'm physically and mentally exhausted, but I'm going to take care of myself and rest. I was so stressed out that I couldn't sleep. I feel like I'm slowly recovering from a long illness. Hi, Michael. Thanks again for authorizing my transfer. I got here safely and, changed the, and the change of scene is doing me so much good. I'm surrounded by great people here, and my transfer went very smoothly. I'm preparing my complaint with the help of an association here. Thank you so much once again, Laura. Damn, Michael. Yeah. Gave us the ability to work from home, did not fire us because somebody else tried to black, like fucking blackmail us, all this other shit. Yeah, if you're someone's boss, be Michael. I don't know what I would have done if you hadn't been there. Even when I pushed you away and didn't want to believe you, you stuck by me. I'm gradually getting back in touch with my old friends, and I'm so glad to know that they are here listening and supporting me. If ever you need anything at all, don't hesitate to ask, even if we're further away from each other now. Damn Charlotte. Actually, yeah, erase that fucking data. Goodbye, phone. Accidental Queens. Two for two. Fantastic game. Not as gay as the last one. <laughs> no. But damn. Damn. That was that was great. I'm glad that we got to see her be okay. Yeah, me too. Like, um, I think a way that this could have ended was just the basically the email, right? We like we do the ping, we race the phone, and that's it. We just sort of yeah. assume we know that she's been set up in an okay situation. But the yeah. fact that we got to see those messages as like an epilogue yeah. of the the following days, letting us know that she was reaching out to her friends, um, checking in with people, letting them know that she was okay. Yeah, uh, that. Yeah, that was really great. Good. Yeah, it was great. Um, because I think there's, like, I I think it's important. Because one of the hard things about being in a situation like this is feeling like your life is going to be over. If you leave, um, right? Like, there's there can't be anything else afterward. Uh, and so I really liked, I really liked that. Um. If one or several aspects of Laura's and Ben's stories apply to your current situation or to that of a person close to you, please reach out. There are various designated associations and crisis helplines that can assist you. Uh, absolutely. Um, yeah. And I think it was uh, so powerful that we got to see her putting her life back together. Um, and not just on her own. Um, with people the, help her. With, with people that would help. Um I think that was huge. 
Yeah. I also really liked that. We did get some hints that she had spoken to a few people Mm -hmm. um, like her sister, right? Like she, even though it wasn't as consistent as it had been like previous to the relationship, Mm -hmm. she was still reaching out to her sister and to the point where she had talked to her the day she left on the fifth that I think was the last day she had a, a message with Carmen. So I think, you know, um, it was good to see that. Oh, and it's so great that Charlotte literally just did not quit. Like Charlotte yeah. did not give up on her, recognized the situation very quickly and was like checking in on her, you know, consistently checking in on her. Yep. 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 yep great yep, game yep, yep, yep. for like just such so a little good. contained short little thing. So good, you know? Mm hmm. Yeah. Um, God, it feels weird to give this a letter grade. <laughs> I know. I'm just going to give it an A. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's great. I, I, I think mean, we, like, I think we gave an A to a normal lost phone, too. Yeah, but, I think so, too. Uh, this was great. Mm-hmm. And it was so sensitively handled. Like it included some it, they were right. It included some triggering content, um, but there was nothing visually shocking. And that was that was nice. This was a this was a good, like safe layer of abstraction, I think, to interact with the the content of the story. Yeah, um, agreed. Um, it was yeah, I really liked it. It was really tastefully handled, and I loved that they gave you pretty in depth notes about the cycle yeah. of physical and mental abuse. Yeah. Um. Both. You know, because she she was pushed. We got that mm-hmm. that she was was at some point pushed, but um, it was more of a mental, you know, mm-hmm. psychological abuse that she was suffering, which I really appreciate that we got both because it was like yeah. there's not just one type of abuse that you can suffer to for it to be domestic abuse. I mean, she was telling Charlotte, "Oh, he's never hit me." You know, how can mm-hmm. you call it domestic abuse? But Charlotte's like, "Haha, let's go to the let's go to this this." you know, this thing and find out. Yeah. Let's go talk to some people who know what's up. Well, because so much of those notes felt like professionally prepared material in the best way. Yeah. Um, it was it was pretty textbook. Um, uh, yeah, I... I'm I'm familiar with the content uh, for my own reasons that I will not get into on the internet, um, but it was it was very well handled and like a lot of a lot of abusive situations and not just like there there are many types of relationships that are not romantic uh, relationships that can be abusive, um, and a lot of that stuff is not physical abuse um, yeah. because I think for the most part people understand that hitting other people isn't okay. Yeah. Um and you need to be like pretty severely distanced from your self-control uh to reach a point where you're willing to hit someone. Um but like there there are a lot of there are a lot of ways a person can be that can result in them being terrible to people around them. Um, in an emotional way. Uh, it does not, you do not have to be like greatly distanced from your sense of self-control and social norms to slowly come to the conclusion that it's okay to treat someone that way. It's okay to talk to someone in this way. Uh, you know, especially because so much, and why we see this a lot in our romantic relationships, um, but you'll see it sometimes in like working relationships, familiar relationships, places where there are lots of expected social norms is because a lot of these social norms are about power con- power control and assumptions, right? There is There are a lot of assumptions about how a romantic relationship, especially a heterosexual one, should be, right? Like where a woman fits in a relationship and where a man fits in a relationship. And those assumptions allow harmful behaviors to become habits. Yeah. Um, Because we don't question our place in the relationship. We don't question the other person's place in the relationship. 
um, they do things that fit within their social role but are harmful um, and so we don't recognize them because it's, it feels like it should be normal. Um, but also like for abusers, they will do things that will feel normal to them and they won't realize that it's not normal in the way that they would with physical abuse because it feels like part of their social role within the relationship. Um, which again is why so often part of why so often men, um, or abusers in relationships are men, um, is because there's this assumption of control in a heterosexual relationship. Um, so, yeah. Um, if, God forbid, you have watched this, and some of it, f as it says here, if one or several aspects of Laura and Ben's story apply to your current situation, the situation of someone you know, please, please reach out to a domestic violence support resource that is local to you um, or a, a national one. If you have them in your country, please, please seek help in the way that is safest for you. Um, yeah, it's uh, there. There is more to life than being in a bad situation um and it's it's important to get there Whew. um we also played <laughs> segue i guess uh we also played a normal lost phone a long time ago a year ago uh that's up on youtube if you liked watching us play this and would like to watch that go watch that uh we'll be back next week hopefully summer will have a face <laughs> we'll see i don't know my face might disintegrate before then yeah it's possible. cam or no cam <laughs> yeah we can have a camera but no face we just have like no a face vague yeah blur yeah scary where, horror where movie stuff face once was yeah um and tech issues were mostly fine tonight uh yeah. so i think we're okay. It is heckin' hot out there, fam. It is so it's hot. Ho I'm it's burning so hot. alive. I'm in this baking in this room. Toronto is so much hotter than San Francisco. <laughs> I can't wait for the winter. Give me the snow. Um, but yeah, we're gonna be back with a game that Summer really likes. So <gasps> yeah, one of my favorite games of all time. We're doing it. We're doing it. I'm doing it. We're finally going to be playing. The classic, the daddy of all adventure games, uh, missed. Yep. Yep. So. The Pappy. Uh, that'll be interesting. And we're going to be playing the remake. Yeah, so, but with the original video. So don't the get the original videos. Don't get it twisted because that um, shit slaps and scared the <laughs> shit out of me as a child. Uh, so we'll get really low resolution cutscenes. Yeah, uh, but like, super yeah. high def puzzles. Um, yeah, I can't so wait. It'll be a new experience for both of us. I'm excited. Hell yeah! Just a couple puzzle girls. That's us. Just That's a us. Puzzle girls. <laughs> really puzzling girls. Actually, that really, works. I'm so puzzling, <laughs> and I do puzzles. We are and so I'm puzzling, so confusing as well, and confused. <laughs> puzzles. Alrighty. Bye, bitches. Bye, bitches. <laughs>